Hello, everybody. It is nice to see you guys. Diane, I don't know, sweetie. I'm going to go and see. But I'm glad that you're here. Is the Has the time changed for you? Is everything okay? Because yesterday was weird. Um, hello to you, my dear Sean. If you are somewhere around, love, it is nice to see you. Hello to my beautiful Lilith. Hello to all our beautiful soul family. So, dear Watson, my love, we have Sean, we have Diane. That's who we've got. Um, nobody else. That's it. And one viewer, two viewers. Where's everybody? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go on in. And I'm going to go and see what I got. And I'm going to open up onto the love box. But I do have to say, once the love box is not going to be open all that long. Um, because I had to use my phone a million times today. And it's only at 58%. And so that's that's my story. Um, so I'll keep it open for maybe 45 minutes or an hour or so. That being said, my beautiful Diane, I do have you here. I also have our beautiful Gypsy, and I've got MZ. So, MZ is going to be on up first. Then I'm going to go and see Gypsy in order of donations and our beautiful Diane. So, how is everybody's day? Please do let me know. I am here, I am listening, and I'm opening up box number five. I know, seriously. I've had phone calls, I've had this, I've had that, and it all has to do with my phone. Uh, so that's that. Um, oh, thank you. I appreciate it, my dear Sean. Sending you much love all the way on back towards you, sweetie pie. Hello, Gypsy. Nice to see you. Do we have MZ who is with us also? Where's MZ? We might not have MZ. So... I'm going to open up a love box, and then, well, we're moving on forward to MZ, Gypsy, and Diane. And this box is always open. Yeah, don't 18 plus. No, absolutely not. <laughs> that is hilarious. I didn't even think about it. For once, for once, I had a very straight mind. I did not even think about the comment that you just put out, but... Now that you said it, I can't keep, you know, I just keep thinking about it. You have, like, kind of traumatized me over here, love. All righty. Um, here we go. Okay, okay. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's go to the love box. Um, pa -pa 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 oh, geez, Louise, that's not where I want to go. That's where I want to go. Okay, so um, here we go, sweetie pies. Watson, you're going to be able, or anyways, yeah, if you want to, you can definitely go into the love box. It is now officially... Um, Oh, my dear God, what did I, yes, I did it. <laughs> it's now officially open. No doubt. It is a power of suggestion, the things that you can do, honestly. And then we can have manifestations come from them, too. So, um, hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button and like it. And, well, there you go. Once we hit 10 new subscribers, we give away a free reading. Watson is the giver this week. So, um, at three minutes and 40, four minutes, four minutes is going to be MZ. All right, I got you over here, love. So, um, perfect. Now that I absolutely love. Yes, I can definitely go and see how we are feeling. And to do that, we're going to go and see a little Normand. Yes. What was that? Was like, oh, oh, I'm going to go see that. And the little puppy picture that you put is, you know, it's looking like my little beagle. So, okay. Um, let's see how we're feeling about you today. Oh, bye. Bye, Hanson. Hello. <laughs> Hi, my beautiful Paula. How are you doing, love? It is nice to see you, sweetie pie. I am good. And how are you? It is nice to see you. Hello, my beautiful Elaine. How are you doing? Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful soul family is gathering around. Anybody who is joining on in, how was your day? Let us know and welcome on in tonight. 
All right, what do we got popping on through? I'm getting over here endings to the situation that you are into, like really wanting to cut it on through, saying this is it, this is it, I'm closing it, I'm moving on, I'm doing something else, and this is what I got. And I absolutely love the fact that we're actually doing that now. Um, also seeing over here what I am getting, the beautiful bridges. All right, sweetie pie, there is absolutely no doubt about it in any kind of possible way. What I shall say for you over here is the following. We are wanting to mend these bridges. We are looking for more information. We are trying to make, not only mend the bridges, but we're trying to make those bridges and those pillars so strong that you're not gonna have all that much of a choice. You're just gonna have to say yes. And I know that you will say yes because you do love him and you have been waiting for him. But that being said, he is working on making that structure nice and strong and solid, everything this such. It is so important. Um, also, getting over here wanting we're looking towards home towards building we're looking towards grounding when i speak about home and building i'm speaking about stability i'm speaking about a beautiful place where when we get back home you're there when he gets back home you know both ways um so this is about building it's about desire it's about good and positive vibes that seem to be coming on through so I'm going to say for you, my sweet love, nothing but beautiful things. There is finally some beautiful light at the end of the tunnel that is coming your way. And I do love that. Um, did he feel as strong as I am today? I'm going to say a yes upon that one, my love. I'm going to say yes within the building, within the ending and wanting to move on forward. It's just that there's a very, very strong... There's like a lot of power that is into that. And talking about power, yes. Um, I'm going to ask this question right away because I we talked about it. And I don't want to forget about it. So the Apple situation today, let me go see. Let me go see about the Apple situation. So you don't have to worry about it, okay? Mm -hmm. Before I continue on with your questions, let's go see what's happening with that Apple. All right. Apple situation, as we talk about, I'm going to say you're good. Um, nothing happened. Nothing happened to the to the apple. So you're good for gold. Don't worry about it, sweetie pie. You were good. What are his thoughts about you on the relationship today? I'm going to move over here. Hello, my beautiful crow's nest. Nice to see you, sweet love. You or I shall be with you soon also. Who is onto the list? Yes, very good question. Um, we have Gypsy and Diane who are before you. If you want to come on back, my beautiful love, and I'm going to say maybe 10 minutes maximum is going to be your turn. There are two other people up before you, my love. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you so very much, my beautiful Elaine, sweetie pie. Alrighty, let's continue on and see what we've got going on. So, how are we feeling towards you? Getting over here, our five of cups. Elaine, you have time for a snack. Okay. Um, also getting over here, five of cups, getting our page of swords, and getting our ten of swords, my sweet love. Again, I keep getting within the scythe, within this, I keep getting wanting to end, wanting to end, wanting to start again, wanting wanting to feel strength, wanting to, at the very same time, um, close the chapter that we are in. We feel like we've been into this chapter for way too long, that it is time that it changes. It is time that our energy changes. We want to just kind of end this as much as we possibly can so we can start on off with our ideas, our wants, our um, everything that could be beautiful and positive into our life. This is what we're looking forward towards. We no longer want to be looking into the looking glass and thinking to ourselves, what's going to be my future? What's going to be happening? This card is all about hope. It is all about fruition. It is all about the beautiful little things that we can kind of pick along the way that's going to build towards that ultimate future. So I'm going to say pretty darn good, my love. Um, but do, 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 do. thank you so very much, my beautiful Bella. I do have a couple of people ahead of you, sweetie pie. Um, let me go and see if your questions are in PayPal, my love. I don't have you into PayPal, 
so maybe it's going to take a little while. I don't have you into my PayPal yet. Let me just go unvalidate again. Maybe you have appeared, and there you go. I've got you, but I don't actually have any questions, so don't go too far, Paola. Um, or write your questions right away so I don't lose them. I will jot them on down, and if ever you're not there, at least I can leave you a timestamp. It's as you wish, or stick around. About 15 minutes, I'll be with you, okay? 15 minutes, my beautiful Paola. To do MZ, my love. Let's continue on and let's go see over here. So we are still with our beautiful MZ. We checked on out into the apple. We checked on question one on two. Moving on forward to the other one. Thank you so very much, my beautiful Paola. So you would like to have a general, absolutely, in regards to love. And would you make new friends if you go to college for the fall? Oh, I like that. Okay. Make it new friends, college and fall. All right, I got your questions, my sweet love. So if ever you're not here and it's your turn, we'll leave you a timestamp. I've got your questions. Don't worry about it. Otherwise, if you want to leave and come back in about 15 minutes or so, it should be your turn, sweetie, okay? Thank you so very much, my love, for posting them. My beautiful MZ, we are still with you over here. Um, yeah, so M, name the puppy after an important... Okay. Let me go and see that. Mm. I thought it was interesting. Uh, this this uh, character in itself, did it have like a lot of strength? Did it have a lot of strength? But it's almost like if this character in itself, yes, had a lot of courage, had a lot of strength, but they also had almost somewhat a little bit of a, I'm not going to say a dark side to it. It's an interesting side. It's like there's a lot of them kind of twists. I don't know what this is all about, but I'm going to actually have to say a yes. But whoever this character is that you guys named it upon seems to have a lot of strength, a lot of character, a lot of determination, um, and different facets to the actual personality, which is interesting. But your ultimate answer is a yes. And it is my great pleasure, my love. But you do have another question, so let me go and gather it. Oh, your question was actually there. I didn't know you donated for it. I thought that was a completely different question. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, there's nothing happened. I already checked it on out, so you're good. I'm going to give you some messages. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, sweetie pie. Um messages on Gypsy. Let me know if you're here. Gypsy and Diane, my beautiful loves, you are next. So I'm going to give you some messages. I'm going to go and see Gypsy, followed up by Diane. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you, everybody, for being so patient. Always greatly appreciated, my loves. Okay. Well, I'm at the ending of yours. I'm right at the ending. Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting over here. Um... Yeah, what is that? It's the hardest. Uh, yes. And it's your favorite boss, right? Okay, well, that's it. That's it. That's why there's that strength. That's why there's that courage, that determination, and everything. Okay, that's what it is. I already checked your apple, but I didn't know. I did not know that you did a donation about the apple. So I didn't want to forget about it. And I thought, oh my God, in the middle of your readings, I did the apple because I wanted to see. But then when I got to your other donation, I saw it was about the apple. So if ever you do have another question, let me know and I'll answer it to you, my love. <laughs> um, okay, so let me continue over here. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not, it's not spicy. Oh, sweetie. Don't, don't make me sad, Gypsy. I'm always excited to go and get your questions. They're always about shoes or socks or spiciness. Although they're not. They're not. I'm kidding. You have a beautiful spiciness upon yourself, but your questions are half-half. Sometimes spicy, sometimes not. Um, all right, my beautiful. I was actually at your messages. So let me go and see over here what I've got. Getting over here a lot of abundance. A lot of abundance. A lot of seeking for prosperity, for security. We want to be your provider. We want to be generous towards you. We want to come and show you this beautiful new direction. We also want to, how could I say, 
Um, I feel like he's, I feel like he is actually getting ready. He is getting ready for those next steps is what he's trying to tell you. He's trying to say, I'm getting ready towards it. Please do wait for me. Know that I am coming on forward and we are going to have the most beautiful outcome all together where we will have beautiful celebrations. So please do stay in beautiful and great confidence. Yeah, well, let me go and see that. That's a good question because honestly, I already answered the other one. Um, yeah, okay. No, absolutely not. Let's go and see. You want to play? You want to play games, Elaine? <laughs> oh, that is so so funny. You want to play games? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So it depends what kind of games you're talking about. You might want to be playing all games. That just might be part of the whole situation too. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not gonna get into that because I'm gonna have to put myself into a box again. I don't want to go into a box. It's lonely over there. Um, so yes. Okay. Are you guys ever going to go back to that spot at some point in time? I'm actually going to have to say yes. I will say a yes, my sweet love. I feel as though at some point in time, it's not necessarily going to be planned. It's going to happen very impulsively. You might be walking, you might be going somewhere and then you're going to say, Hey, why don't we go over there? And that's how you're actually going to end up over there. Yeah. And you're going to be thinking about that darn apple. You're going to be wondering, <laughs> but don't worry. Mother Earth will have taken that apple away a long time ago, sweetie pie. So do not worry. Oh, Elaine, I so want to start. I so want to start. I'm, I don't know. I must be, I'm, I must want to put myself into a box tonight. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know. I was the same way yesterday. I'm going to blame it on the eclipse. How's that? The, it's the eclipse fault. Um, new moon eclipse. But just too many things happening at the same time. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Hold on just a second. I know. I'm not going to. I am not going to. I promise. I'm going to stay here with you guys. Otherwise, I'm going to have to stick myself into a box. Um... You do, my love. You do. Okay, wait. You had another second part to your question. Yeah, and what would happen at that spot, right? What would happen at that spot? What would happen at that spot? And it's your favorite spot for you guys, right? Oh, that is so sweet. It is my pleasure, love. Um, actually, I see you being a little bit restless at that spot altogether. I kind of feel because of the whole thing, you kind of want to walk away a little bit. I know. Um, I can't, oh, Gypsy, at least for the following week, at least for the following week, let me live off of the vibes and the energy of the eclipse. Then I can blame it onto the full moon or onto new moon, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Okay, sweetie pie, you're going to have beautiful unified love at that beautiful place. So uh, I'm going to say some kissy lovey-dovey kind of stuff is going to be happening at that spot, my sweet love. I'm really glad you changed your question for the apple towards that. This is such a better answer. Uh-huh. Uh, you're going to give me two more days? Oh, thank you, Alleluia. I will take it. <laughs> Yes, yes. At least give me, at least give me to the end of the week. And then there's the weekend. I shall digest it and I'll become good again. Yeah, I'll, I'll become good old Lisa. Nice and sweet and I will not put myself into a box. Um, now let me go and see what your question is. Yes, here we go. Yeah, no. Yeah, we like to eat apples. We do, we do. Um, oh, oh, wait. Um, okay, hold on just a second. Um, give me just one moment because I have a child who is at home that is not mine who apparently needs to go home to study. So uh, just give me one brief second, guys. I shall let that child know they need to cross the street. Evelyn, ma belle. Pour que je suis partie All right, I'm back. Um, you're right. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I know. Now, I definitely don't want um, parents across the street getting upset at me. Oh, no. All right. So let's go see for our beautiful gypsy. Um, yes. Uh, hello to everybody. Hello to everybody. Yes. Um, 
Um, oh, just one second. Uh, okay. Let's go like that, and voila. You really love Spanish language, and you're really getting good at it. I was not speaking Spanish, though, you know. <laughs> but the Spanish language is a beautiful language. Okay, so, gypsy, 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 what juicy stuff are you sending my way? Oh, no, that is not juicy. Oh, no, no, no. All right, okay. I got it. It's not juicy, but it's important. Let's go and see. Okay, so how do we feel? And it cut that today. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit like of a, I feel like it's somewhat of a, sh not a shadow. It's like a, it's a false perception. It's a barrier. It's a wall. He put himself a cement wall in front of himself to kind of just try to, um, I feel stop things. Yeah, so it's always easier to seem as though you're completely insensitive than to actually say, oh, no, please don't, because we don't want to, you know, we don't we don't want anything of the such. Look, first card coming on out. This is it. It's the hermit. He's keeping all his feelings inside because if he actually goes on forward and he tells you, oh, oh no, please don't leave me, my lover. Don't leave me. I'm, I'm going to miss you. I really want to be with you. What can we do? Then his ego is coming from it. And then he's going to feel as, oh, my God, what are you going to be thinking? And then he kind of feels like he's kind of begging. And that's just not really part of it. So, you know um yeah that's it so that this is what i'm seeing over here so the hermit is coming on through along with our queen of rods also um getting our queen of cups you see this is it you took a decision right you clearly made the decision you did it it came from the bottom of your heart even though you did not necessarily want to do it but you kind of did at the same time but you felt like a movement needed to be done he is just secluding himself as much as he possibly can so is he actually happy about the situation no he is not is he living with the situation because he's got no choice because that's what you said well yeah that's basically what he's doing at this moment is he actually going to be coming on back that is the main question right yes he's thinking about it already is he actually going to be doing it though i feel like it's a no I'm getting over here difficult decisions. Do we go? Do we not? Do we reach out? Do we not reach on out? Oh, the opportunities, the choices. Beautiful seven of cups coming on through to give you all different kind of thoughts. But we're finishing on up with a chariot in reverse position, telling us that there's going to be somewhat a little bit of a standstill. So something's going to be kind of ending. Um, anyways, temporarily, perhaps he'll end up changing. Perhaps this energy is going to switch on up. And heck, maybe the whole decision making of what are we going to be doing? Should we reach on out or not? Maybe he'll end up switching on over and saying, okay, I'm going to do it. Maybe, but not for the moment. Yeah, you just want to prepare, right? What advice do I have for you? Yeah, let's go and see that, my love. Diane, you're next, okay? Are those paint bottles? Who's? Are you talking about me? Me? Me. Paint bottles. Where's paint bottles? Where do I have paint bottles? What are you talking about, Elaine? I'm sorry to disappoint. No, you know you're not disappointing. You're so sweet. All right, paint bottles? What do I have? Paint? This? Is this what you're talking about? Um, I don't know. If that's what you're talking about, it's not a paint bottle. No. Um, it's, um, it's not spells, but it's oils. It's oint. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. No. Um, these are different witch oils that I use, um, different ones. Um, you've got, um, family happiness. You've got losing weight. You've got increased attraction. You've got Kama Sutra. You've got protection. You've got like a zillion different kind of things. So that's what into the, what's into those bottles, my love. Yeah, it's witchy stuff, sweetie. Whatever is here and whatever is hidden into that is all witchy things. Ah, uh, absolutely, dear Sean, sweetie pie. Absolutely, love. Um, okay, hold on. And let's go and continue. Uh, yeah, you can get a losing weight one, sweetie. You absolutely can. Not a problem, my love. We can definitely work onto that, sweetie pie. You're going to have to send me an email, though, because my brain goes all over the place. And if I don't necessarily have an email and I don't always necessarily do a spell for you, 
I might end up forgetting. So send something on out towards me, okay, my love, into an email. Just let me know. That being said, my beautiful, what do your guides have to say to you towards love? You know what they're going to say, right? Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm going to go over here. Over here. Well, let's go see. What are the guides going to be saying? It's my pleasure, sweetie. So beautiful Diane is up next, followed up by Crow's Nest. Please let me know if Crow's Nest is here. And then I'm going to be moving on forward to Elaine, on to Paula. Alrighty, sweetie pie, getting over here anxiety. I need to release anxiety. I need to feel a little bit stronger within that at the same time. I need to look at different type of prospects. Oh, I know we all like to look at different type of prospects, but um, I feel like there is a certain amount of release that is there, but I feel like we need to find, you need to find your stability, what you want, what you're looking for. I feel like what you really need to look at is not necessarily, you need to start looking at people for what they have to offer to you into the long run because you're looking into the long run, but you keep on falling on to people who are, oh, good looking, everything the such, but they're more for the short term. So you need to find yourself somebody who's nice, good looking, who's attractive, somebody who's got everything you want, but who's also wanting the long term. Even though it's going to take longer, it's going to give you less pain, less sorrow, my sweet love. You have decisions in love to do. You're going to have more decisions because, you know, we're always thinking, do I go back? Do I not go back? What are this person thinking? So um, your spirit guides are definitely saying to you, be careful with the different type of decisions that you are going to be making. And be careful that you don't necessarily create yourself um, thoughts, illusions, or delusions into your mind about different type of people or what they can offer to you. Um, so I'm basically going to have to say they are asking you over here to come and look for clarity. The best clarity that you can get right off the beginning. If it's not good for you, I don't care if they're, I don't know, who's somebody sexy. Name me somebody sexy, somebody sexy. I don't know. I'm looking for a Hollywood star who's, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if you find this guy sexy. Let's say Ryan Gosling. There you go. That guy. Um, why Ryan popped up into my mind? I don't know. But um, I don't care if it's Ryan Gosling, although you'll say, <laughs> I know you'll say something else. Uh, if he's not looking for long term, if he can't give you what you want, then run like hell. That's what spirit guides are trying to say. Of course, Quanson can sing. Oh, Quanson can sing. One day we shall all be going to New York to go Broadway and listen to Quanson singing. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. Henry. Oh, yes. Henry. Oh, he's got a body. He's got a body onto him. He definitely does. Can you be on the 27th? The 27th. What is the 27th? And what's going on onto the 27th? Is that your birthday? What's what's up with the 27th, my love? Uh, the 27th is a Saturday. I, I don't know. I don't know, my lovely. Why? What's happening onto the 27th? Is that your birthday, sweetie? Okay. Um, let me go and see what I've got over here for you. I am getting over here the magician. Is it okay? Absolutely, Lilith. Not a problem whatsoever. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It is all okay. You can post them every single day if you want to, my love. Um, oh, it's your birthday, sweetie. I will see what I can do because it is onto the weekends. Um, but I will see what I can do for you. Okay, sweetie pie? I'll check that on out, my love. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. so what I'm going to say over here for the moment is this, I'm still with you, my beautiful gypsy, my love. Um, well, he's sexy, Lilith. If Mr. Cavill comes on over towards gypsy, she must say no, even if he just wants socks because gypsy wants a long-term commitment. She wants a Cavill who wants an actual commitment. <laughs> So my beautiful Elaine, I will check it on out about it. I will check upon it. No promises, but I will see what I can do, okay? Uh, I do my best, my love. I do my best. Um, okay, so getting our three wands, the magician. Also getting over here, our son. I'm basically going to say over here for you, you need to start looking towards your future. You need to focus onto you, onto your stability, onto your wants, onto your desires, sweetie pie. It's what you've got to do. Because these men, they're eating up your energies. Ooh, they're eating up your energies when they're not supposed to be. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh And I know I could say a lot of things about it, but I'm not going to. Um, okay, hold on. Okay. Um, 
and voila. So what I shall say over here is the following. We are moving on forward to our beautiful Diane. Um, do we have our beautiful Kersnos who is with us? I don't know. If not, we shall put it a timestamp. So here we go for Diane. And um, Kersnos followed out by Elaine and Paola. Diane, sweetie pie, what is happening with you, my love? Let's go and see. Okay. So, here's my beautiful Diane. You recently found out, um, we're going to put a timestamp, please, at 30 minutes spot on. All right. Um, yeah, Sean is on to the 16th. Sean is coming on up soon. A lot of birthdays, soul family, a lot of birthdays in April. I know, I know, sweetie pie. Oh, Elaine, we shall be here. We shall be here for Sean's birthday. He is on to a weekday. There is no doubt about that. Um, okay, Diane, sweetie, what is happening? Yes. Ah. Uh, okay, hold on. I, I'm going to read this over again because into my mind it seemed weird. Okay, that Matthew is... Matthew is Samantha's brother and Samantha is Matthew's cousin. Uh, that is interesting. Um, that's okay, Hanson, sweetie. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And they were living, it's like a complicated kind of circle, a family circle going on here, love. And they want to be nearer their relatives and friends. Now they are living in, okay, when Sean and you buy a house, they're going to sell their house and they're going to move in with Sean and you. When you meet up, you're going to be, uh, you are going to, you're going to meet up at Gloria G. Okay. That's where you're going to go after all. Okay. I got you. Um, brick, will it be two bedroom, etc. And when we finally move into the future, Matthew and Samantha will be with us for protection from D. Will that be successful or will D uh, cause arguments between us on timestamps and messages? All right, my love. Well, let's go and see what we've got. So we're actually going to go and start on off and go and see about the house. What is the house going to be looking like, right? Yeah, it's kind of complicated, sweetie pie. I feel like I'm into a, I feel like I'm into a circle. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out all these things. Okay, I got you. Well, hey, let's go forward with it. Um, okay, let's go here. All right, all right, all right. We're going to get this. We're good. Whatever that means, but you're guessing happy birthday. What did Sean say? Oh, he just said thank you to you, my sweet love. Yeah, he just said thank you to you, sweet pie. He said thank you in a nice, sweet way as a beautiful friend. That's what he said to you, my love. Um, I have been so itching to go because you're talking about Spanish. I've been so itching to go on vacation. My dear God, I want to go on vacation. I do, I do. Oh, not because I don't want to see you guys because even on vacation I see you guys and I talk with you guys every day. But <laughs> just because I want to go because I usually go at this time. Um, yes, uh, we are on Diane and you are on up next, my love. Um, yeah, but I kind of feel like my vacations are going to go further on off this year till maybe after the summertime. I've got some complex things to deal with, first of all. Yes. And then I believe, yeah, I think I'm going to change things around. But Mexico sounds so fantastic right now. Um, how are you all going to get along together, right? Matthew, friends, everything. I got you. Thank you, my beautiful Christmas. You are almost here right on time, my sweet love. Um, and your question is already there, so that is absolutely perfect. Just give me a few moments, my beautiful. Okay, so, sweetie, this is what I've got for you over here. My King of Swords popping out at my Knight of Cups out of my High Priestess, followed on through with our dear Emperor. Um, also getting over here, Queen of Pentacles. So, sweet love. Hello, Regina. Nice to see you, sweetie. I will check that on out, my love. And I shall leave you a timestamp. You're up in about 15 minutes. 
Okay, so beautiful Diane. We're actually going to start on off over here. This is what I'm going to say, okay? Um, I feel as though between you guys, you're going to get along quite fine. There's not a problem with that. You guys are getting along quite fine. There's no issues that are happening with that. Everything is okay. So I don't want you to actually worry about that in any kind of a way. I feel like it's good. Um, normality does dictate that there shall be, you know, every once in a while, some discords or some disagreements in some kind of a way, but nothing much more than that. Altogether, I'm going to say things are pretty darn good, sweetie pie, and I don't really want you to worry about that. What I will say, though, um, the house, it does seem to be in brick. Um, why am I seeing it? I'm seeing like a reddish, like a reddish brownish kind of a brick going on. It's not a one-story house. It is a two-story house. Um, I'm actually seeing a three-bedroom. I know that you asked me about a two-bedroom, but I don't see a two-bedroom. I see a three-bedroom. So I'm going to say a three-bedroom um, house. Everything seems to be onto the same level. Um, I'm going to say about maybe... I don't know, maybe about 1,500 square feet into the living area altogether. You seem to have a beautiful yard. Um, I'm still seeing like beautiful things happening there. Like, I, I don't know. I see you guys grounded. I see you guys there. I see good things. There seems to be a garage that is attached to this house also, but it seems to be attached. Um, I don't believe all your cars are going to fit in into it though, because I believe that it is not a double, but it is a single garage. So you're going to be able to put like one car in and the other ones are going to have to go out. Um, I feel like it's a nice, it's a beautiful, it's a peaceful type of a neighborhood. I don't see any issues with that, sweetie. So I'm going to say it's all good for the moment, my love. That is what the house is actually going to be looking at. Yes. No, I said it is not a two-story house. I said it's a one-story house, apparent, um, approximately 1,500 square feet with three bedrooms, not two, with red, like reddish, brownish kind of um, brick is what I can see over here, my love. Um, yes, and that's okay. They're going to sell the things and that's just okay, sweetie pie. Um, yes, the fact that they're going to be there for you also is going to be okay. Um, even if, even if they were not there with you, I still don't believe that there would actually be any problems in any, I don't believe, like, I believe that D is going to be disappointed. I believe that D is going to be, yes, basically I'm going to say disappointed. But I don't believe that D is actually going to come on in and be like a terror in any kind of a way. It would not bring him anything good. It would not bring you guys anything good. It would probably just get him arrested by the cops. So really not a good idea altogether. He's pretty much going to stay onto his own little side, do his own little things. And that's pretty much what's going to be happening with that. So I don't really want you to worry about that neither. Okay. I feel like that part is going to be okay. But yes, they will be there with you. So um, I'm going to say it's like added protection altogether, sweetie pie. Um... Other than that, what I'm going to say over here is you guys are going to have a beautiful, a nice, safe, beautiful place, a place where you're going to be able to find, a new, where you're going to be able to call it home. It is going to take you guys a little bit of time to, um, I'm going to say to get used to living together. Um, at first, it's going to seem nice. It's going to be exciting. Everything is going to be new. Everything is going to be perfect. But then after that, we kind of have to a little bit adjust, right? We have to adjust to the circumstances, to the way things are going and everything as such. So I'm going to say give yourself a little bit of time of adjustment. It's probably going to take like a good two to three months before the adjustment actually happens where everybody just kind of settles on in and everything just makes sense. The rules of the house, who does what and how everything is working on and really just a beautiful cohesion within the um within the house altogether yeah um so i'm gonna say you're good sweetie pie i don't see any problems over there at all neither um let me give you some messages from the angels and let me also give you some messages my sweet love um coming from your um from your sweetie pie so hold on just a moment i'm gonna go on forward over here to this one and we're gonna go and see that Dee's going to be okay, sweetie pie. Dee's going to find somebody else to move on in with him. Dee's going to find somebody else, my love. Oh, you can, Elaine. You can, sweetie pie. If you already know, Elaine, what your questions are, you can post them right away because you're going to be after crow's nest. So if you already know them, Elaine, post them away. If you don't know them yet, it's okay. Not a problem. You can ask them later on. Um, 
money. I still don't see any money coming until after summer, sweetie. Money is still not coming in, in until after summer. Your angels are asking you to be brave. Your angels are asking you to have a lot of faith. Your angels are asking you to, I'm going to say, be generous in many kind of ways, but not into a financial kind of a way. Within your love, within your desires, within your thoughts, within your movements, within your manifestations, within really just thinking about your relationship and how you're moving on forward. Be generous with those thoughts, with those sharings, and with that, I'm going to say collective of everybody together. And that's going to bring you really, really, really quite far. Money is coming on in somewhere around the end of summer, sweetie. You're getting too old. You're getting too old. What is that? Oh, die. Okay. You're getting too old to go up and down. Oh, seriously. You're going to be 41. Sean. Seriously, sweetie. I know that you, I know that it's about the leg. I know that you got some issues within that and that I get it. But it's not because you're too old, sweetie. Uh, 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 uh. You're not old at 41, my love. Now, let me go and give you some messages coming from him, sweetie pie. And, um, and that's, that's, that's that. Yeah, there you go, my little ghostly, ghostly you. Um, so let's go over here and give you some messages. So Crow's Nest, Elaine, Paula, and Regina are next. Yeah, we're all getting old. Oh, God. I got old not long ago. My little girl's getting older in two weeks. My dog is getting older in a month. Um, yeah, everybody gets older. It's the way it goes. But I'm going to say the older, the wiser. And hopefully the older we get, the wiser we get, the better circumstances we bring towards us, and the more happiness we get. Let's put it that way. Let's look at it the most beautiful kind of a way. Let's not look at it into a drowny kind of a yuck kind of way. Let's look at it in a good way. Yeah. What could it be then, sweetie Lisa Mom? Wow. You're not old, sweetie. You're not old. You could have problems into your knees. You could have issues. I get you. I do. I broke my knee before and um, not anymore. But when I was actually working with David, I had to like pick up boxes and do a bunch of stuff. And sometimes I couldn't walk onto my leg for like weeks because it was so painful. I couldn't go upstairs into my house. So I get you. I get you. But that's what it is. Oh, I hate it too. Oh, God, I hate it too. But we got to look at it into the most positive kind of way. Let's not look into a bad way. Let's be positive because that's what's going to bring good things towards us. Besides, we can't change it. So if you can't change it, let's make it better. Um, yeah. Um... So let's go and see what I got. When you move next April, what what day is it going to be? When you move next April, it's going to be on a Wednesday. A Wednesday, my love. Um. Okay, messages for you over here. Here we go. A big definite, definitely. That's true, right? Hanson, seriously. Um... Do you think about me too? I want you to know that you're so very special towards me. Love is going to be the answer into this connection. There is absolutely no doubt about it. And the Ace of Wands, beautiful, powerful, loving. Let's move on forward. Let's get a connection. But there's sexual energy coming from that too. But I'm going to end it right there with that. Um, already, already, already. So... I'm going to go and see over here our beautiful crow's nest is what I shall do. And, uh, well, let's go and see what I've got. That font, that font, what font, 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 font. Mm-hmm. Um, crow's nest, sweetie pie. So, Diane, Diane and Sean, please do not worry. Everything is going to be okay. Your move is going to be okay. It's not a problem. Oh, you don't like the text onto that font. Well, it's not my fault. I didn't make the deck, but I love you. I will keep it in consideration, and I shall never use that deck for you. I will try to remember not to use it. Um, so that's what I'm going to say towards it, okay? Everything is going to be okay. I don't want you to worry about anything of the such. Everything is okay, my love. The moving is going to be okay. You are going to be protected. They are going to be there. It is a beautiful, nice kind of, um, it is going to be a beautiful, nice home. It is a one story. It is bedrooms all onto the same floor. You're going to have a nice yard, a fair amount of place to live into. You're going to be good, my sweetie pie. So I say do not worry about it. You and Sean are going to be starting a brand new life. Take it, enjoy it, manifest it, think about it. Beautiful things are coming your way. Elaine, it's, I didn't do it. Honestly, I didn't do it. It's not me. It's not my deck. Uh <laughs> But Elaine, I do have to say something towards that. I do have to say something towards it. 
you know how I'm always saying that you're a little bit avant-garde. You're always a little bit, you know, ahead of everybody. And I, I'm always talking about how your ideas and your thoughts and everything, you're like a good four or five years ahead of everybody, right? Yes. Well, this is it. Here is just one of the examples for you, my beautiful Elaine. That deck that I just used is one of the most popular decks. Everybody loves it. I kid you not. But you see, you're allowed not to like it. You are. But it just shows that you have a different perspective. It shows that you see things differently. It sees and it shows that you are wanting something that is different. You have a different thought. You have a different image. You have a different perspective. And you would have developed it into a different kind of way. Hey, my God, it could have been the most perfect way, the way that you would actually develop it right here, right now. But I'm just showing you the difference between your thoughts and what other people are thinking and about how what you can do and what you can go and get versus what is happening right now. So it's perfect, sweetie. I just had to point it out. I did. Um, so here we go. You thought about you thought about me last night, Sean. What happened, sweetie? You want to help me around the house? Oh, you're such a sweetie pie. A spring is coming along. My kids and my dog keep bringing dirt in my house. Um <laughs> You're such a sweetie pie. Oh, do not worry. I am good. I am good, my sweet love. Mm-hmm. I still have to give you an update. God, I'm going to end up doing updates. I will. And what's happening with you, my beautiful? Let's go see. We are with our beautiful crow's nest at this moment. Elaine is going to be on up next. So, Elaine, it is my pleasure, sweetie pie. If you already know your questions, post them. If you don't, post them on out later. I'll answer you. It's not a problem. Um, but it is true, Elaine. It is true. And it's just... It's an example. It's one very simple example, but it is what it is. And it shows the different thought process and it shows the possibilities that you have. But you're still in advance is what I'm trying to say. So Crow's Nest, Sweetie Pie, let me go and see what is happening. Sean, I'm going to heart that all the way on through because I absolutely love it, Sweetie. You're a Sweetie Pie. I appreciate it. Crow's Nest, what's happening, Sweetie Pie? What is coming in love for you into the near future? Um, you're hoping somebody comes along with a long-term comment, right? That is not, I know, I know, sweetie. Let's go and see what I've got going on. So, um, here we go. Let's go and see that. And voila. Okay, I got you guys. Whether we pass or new, I got you. Let's go see. Well, let's go towards this little duck. Anybody who is new to the channel, please do like, please do subscribe. And uh, when we hit 10 new subscribers, we give away a free reading. Are we? Watson gives away free readings. Uh, here we go. So, let's continue on and see what we've got. Okay. Let's go like this. Let's go over there. And let's go and figure things out. Okay. We're getting the Hierophant over here. I have not seen our beautiful Miserac in a few days. I hope that she's okay. I hope that she is good. I always a little bit wonder about her. I don't know why she's popping into my mind at this moment in time. But anyways, point being, here we go. If you're somewhere around, I hope you're okay. Beautiful Carrie, if you're being a silent hermit, we love you also. Hope you're doing okay too, my love. That being said, beautiful crow's nest, what is actually happening? You're thinking, but you're tired of thinking. You're tired of waiting. You're tired about the whole darn thing altogether. My hierophant is saying you are, are wanting something new. It's like the relationships who seem to be coming on close to you or by you are not necessarily what you want or what you need. It's always a little bit kind of disappointing. There's like a always like a little bit of a beginning of happiness, of good, of hope, but then it never actually follows on through. The main problem over here is that you're always a little bit stuck with the pages. You're stuck with those pages who have ideas, who have wants, who think about you. They think that, you know, 
you're cute, you're adorable, you're sexy, but it stays there. It stays at a place where we're not ready for commitment. It stays at a place where we want to be friends with benefits. And that's what it is. When the options are no longer available to that because it's not really what you're looking for, they end up going away. I know this is not what you're asking for, but it's what the cards are telling me. So let me go and take another deck out now that the cards told me your story. <laughs> Well, let's go and see what we've got. Is anybody new coming on in in any kind of way? Yes. Okay. And that's what it is, right? I know. I kid you not. And I was just asking in cards. But, you know, what do we need to know? What do we need to know about cards? This is what I got. I know. Okay. Oh, Elaine, I'm all for weird. I like weird. I think weird is interesting. I think weird is original. And I love weird. I do. Okay, sweetie. Um, yeah, you no, don't pick somebody rude, Hanson. <laughs> All right, love. Hey, Dan, thank you for the beautiful four fresh roses. You know, I love them. You can come and join us onto the other side. That's where the party's happening, sweetie. That's where all our beautiful family is. Come on to the other side. Don't follow. Don't follow Devil Hwanson over there. Yeah, no, don't follow. Don't follow him. Come on over to the other side. He's in love box number five. <laughs> Hello, Dan. It is nice to see you. And um, this is to Dan Clark. But Dan, um, on to the other side. I'll show. You know, we love you. Okay, so that being said, what I'm going to say towards you, who the heck is coming on in? I'm getting a king of wands. Yes, I'm getting a king. But before you actually get to the king, and I'm getting love. I'm getting new relationships. Yes, this is absolutely beautiful. Before you get to there, you are going to be having a little bit of um, Elaine. I am with Crow's Nest. You're next, sweetie. Um, before I actually, before you actually get this love who is coming on in, you're going to have a little bit of delays, okay? So I'm going to say a couple, I'm going to say maybe about four or six weeks. And you've been waiting on a Leo from the past. Okay, well, let me go and see what I've got popping on through over here for you. Um, hold on just one second. Um, let me go see what I've got. Yes. Um, okay. There is a Leo from your past who is here. He is symbolized, okay? His sign over here, our beautiful King of Wands, is symbolized with the Leo. Um, he is there. There is absolutely no doubt about it. Our beautiful Leo sign is right onto the top over there. So he is there, our Leo. He is. He does think about you. He does wonder about you. But this, your Leo is anxious. Your Leo is anxious. Your Leo doesn't really know how to necessarily move on forward. And your Leo is holding on all of that information within their beautiful, their beautiful soul. And this person does love you, by the way. They do love you and they do care about you, but they're just hiding everything within. It's like they are simply not ready. They are not ready to give you. They are not ready to declare. They're simply not ready to be there for you into a loving long-term relationship at this moment. They're too anxious and they're way too stressed. Now, do you still talk to this Leo or not? Because if you do still talk to the Leo, it could actually be worth it to actually reach on out towards the Leo. But that is if you still talk to the Leo. If you do not talk to the Leo or you don't have any connection, then I kind of feel like I would most likely a little bit turn the page because we're too anxious and we're keeping everything within. Do you still talk to this Leo, my love? Oh, Dan Clark, yes, I'm saying hello to you, sweetie. There is another beautiful Dan who comes into our live, into our soul family, who has been with us for over a year. And he's onto the other live feed. He's the other Dan I was talking to. <laughs> Um, anybody who's new, shorts feed or classic feed, subscribe if you want to have a chance to win a reading. Yeah, that's it. There's no communication at this moment, right? If you do have this person's information, you could try to reach on out. Maybe it would actually kind of alleviate the anxiety that we got over here. You talked about meeting at the beginning of March, but then he went silent. Okay. Well, you know what? 
Um, you're still holding on to this person, and this person is clearly still holding on to you, okay? But they're hiding everything. So my love, what I'm going to say is, why don't you make things a little bit more official? Give it one last try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Close the books after and move on forward. But this person truly does care for you, and this person truly does want to look towards a future, but they've got blockages, all right? So I'm going to say over here, in some kind of a way, what I really, 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 really want you to know I know everybody is getting a twin horn, so that's the way the family works. <laughs> Try to reach on out. But when you reach out this time, don't just put, oh, let's see each other into the month. No. Okay. Would you be free this weekend, Saturday or Sunday? Would you be free? I'm kind of free if you want to meet on up. If you have a better day, let me know. Then you are really saying, let's meet those days. Are you going to be there? Yes or no what's going to be happening, but you're making it solid. You're making it happen. That's what I need you to do, okay? Don't leave things just kind of up there into the air because then anxiety and stress comes on in and friends come on in and other opportunities come on in, other stuff come on in, and it deranges the whole plans. Contact and ask for a specific date. Ask if he is available to meet on up during that weekend. And if he says no, ask him if he is available on to another date. And which date may it be so you can plan it into your schedule. And if he is still not available for it, I say turn the page, my sweet love, and let me go see who else is going to be coming on in towards you. Thank you, my beautiful Diane, sweet love. You shall be right after Regina, sweetie. Thank you for posting, Elaine. Sean, you're what? You're deranged? You're addicted to maple syrup? You love it? And cappuccino? Oh, yes. It's delicious in cappuccino. Oh, you got to put maple syrup all over the place, Sean. Not that I want to put myself into a box again, but you can put it all over the place. I kid you not. On ham, on sausage, on bacon. You can put it on kipes. You can put it on whatever you want. Honestly, it goes on a lot of things. Although I'm not all that much for the sweet, salty kind of a thing, so... Mm. I usually keep it with my sweets. That being said, getting over here, the world coming on through along with our page of wands. Also getting our emperor. So sweet love. Here we go. And this is what I'm going to say to you at this moment in time. Okay. So now you know what you've got to do. You know what you need to move on forward and how to do it. Don't leave no room. It's got to be two, three days. If it's not these two, two, three days, give me another date. Don't leave it open because he's terrified, but he does love you, okay? So if that doesn't work on through, we're going to continue on and we're going to move on forward into the future. And I'm going to say, if that doesn't work into the month of June, you do have somebody coming on in who has a lot of respect, who's somewhat of a leader, who likes to kind of decide things though. This person does like to decide things, but this person is looking for a long-term relationship. So I'm going to say, and this is a Gemini. This is a Gemini. So you have an actual Gemini coming on in, my beautiful crow's nest. Um, I'm going to say into the month of June, um, sign being Gemini. They have dark hair altogether. They have dark eyes. They are decisive, and they're not going to play in a game, sweetie pie. So I'm going to say new love is coming on in there. If Leo is not willing to make the effort, I thank you, my beautiful Elaine. A beautiful crow's nest. Let me leave you with some messages, shall I? Let me leave you with some messages. And I will not trigger our beautiful Elaine. I shall use a different deck. Here we go. <laughs> um, so let's move over over here. Hello, DM. Nice to see you, sweetie pie. I am good. How are you doing, my love? It is my pleasure, beautiful crow's nest. My pleasure, sweetie pie. I hope we can come back together and pick up where we left off. You see? He needs to get rid of his stress. Um, I struggle with love. I, I struggle with expressing it. It really does not come easy for me. I'm working on it myself every single day. So maybe I could come back towards you as my complete self. And I wish that you can understand that sometimes it's difficult for me, that I do struggle with this. And I have loved you more than anybody else, but I have so failed to show you my love. Hi, Cece. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Cece. Welcome to the live. How are you doing, my love? It is lovely seeing you, my beautiful. Oh, thank you so very much, sweetie pie. You're going to be after Diane. I do have a couple. I have one, two, three. 
I still have four readings ahead of you, sweetie. If you want to come back in about 15 minutes or I leave you a timestamp if your questions are in PayPal. Mm hmm. Crow's Nest, love you, sweetie. You are beautiful inside and out. You deserve the very best, but you need to know what this person, how this person is going to move on forward. They can't keep dragging you, so you got to be decisive and see what you get from it, okay? I'm sending you much love, sweetie. I am good. Thank you so very much, my beautiful CC. You too, my beautiful DM. Thank you so very much, my love. I'm going to go and check all those beautiful things out. Thank you. DM also. I'm just going to go into PayPal right away. And I'm going to go and see if you guys put your questions on in. Yeah. Let me go and see what we've got. Um, okay, DM no questions, um, CC no questions, okay, so hold on my beautiful loves, I shall be with you guys shortly, okay, thank you so very much, um, let's move on forward and see our beautiful Elaine, Elaine, and then I'm going to go and see Paula, Regina, and then we're going to go on see our beautiful Diane, CC and DM, so, Elaine, how will your one month contract job freelance? Oh, well, that is nice. Due into the month of May. I do like that. Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. So, here we go. Cece, if you want to write your questions right, right away over here, you can. Um, same thing for DM. If ever you do want to write your questions over there, you can also. Oh, you can. Oh, my dear God. Seriously, Hanson. I'm lacking. Oh, I am. I am. Please, stick me into a box. Um... We are currently on Elaine Hwanson. We're moving on forward to Paula, Regina, Diane, Cece, and DM. Oh, well, there you go. You didn't need the list. You already got it, sweetie pie. Yeah, it's perfect. Alrighty. Okay, so one month contract, freelance, due into the month of May. Mm hmm. It's an interesting project. It is. It is, but you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. No, I know. It kind of sucks, right? The way I said it. Mm, yeah, no, no. Um, for some kind of reason over here, um, yeah, I'm going to say no. It's a it's, it's an interesting opportunity, and I like the fact that you're actually going on through with the opportunity, but I feel like there's, like there's difficulties. There's things that you don't necessarily like, um, and I feel like, I actually kind of feel like you're having issues maybe trying to fit in and you kind of feel a little bit disconnected from the others so it's it, you're not going to like it all that much i'm going to say it's going to be okay but you're it's not going to be a lovey kind of a thing yeah really i kid you not sweetie pie you're not going to like it all that much i'm not going to say it's horrible but i don't believe if this was a contract and you would move on forward with it forever that you would actually want to continue with it forever I know, right? But don't let that don't let that get to your brain. Don't let that modify anything within your thoughts. You go on in and 100% nice and strong and beautiful and thinking about what you can do, how you can make things go, okay? Don't go upon what I have said. I don't want what I have said to modify anything into your life, okay? Go on in, nice, strong, positive, see what you can give, see what you can do, and go with the flow within it. I'm just saying that it's not something that you would want to do forever. There's going to be some disappointments into it. It's kind of fit, right? That's it. Yeah, not a problem. But it's not going to be all that long, so you're going to be okay. Sean, you say you dream of hoping to come, what? To come to Quebec. Absolutely. Come on over, sweetie. Learn French Canadian. Absolutely. Sightseeing. We got beautiful places. We do. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's a beautiful place to see, my beautiful Sean. You too, except when it's spider season, Sean. <laughs> Let me go and see your other questions, my beautiful Elaine. Um, so Paola is going to be next. We're all going to leave a timestamp for our beautiful Paola, though. 
Um, so Elaine, let me go on up just a little bit higher. Second question. Well, working under a freelance graphic designer who provides a few months or a month contract be perfect for you. Your work is more, yes, and Victorian style and Swiss style, right? Yeah. I actually don't, I don't see a problem. I do not see a problem with, with the actual freelance. That's not where my issue is actually standing. Um, I just feel like it's a person that you're actually doing freelance for that you're not necessarily going to like as much or maybe a little bit the people that are around. But I don't believe that it has actually anything to do with the fact that you're working under a freelance graphic designer. I just feel like the one that you're doing until the month of May, you're not going to like as much. But doesn't mean you're not going to like the other ones. So let me go and answer your second question. Yeah. Would it actually be perfect for you? It could be really, really good. Could it be perfect? It could be good. I'm not going to say it is the best of situations. I feel like for you, honestly, I see you more being into a place where you're stable, where you don't have any concerns, where you go on in. This is where you go to work every day. This is your office. This is what you do. You've got your graphics. You've got different clients who come on in. You have different projects who come on in, but you've got your certain stability. I see you a little bit less kind of moving on forward from like one contract to the next. It is something that you could possibly do all the way until you actually find that stability. Absolutely. And it could be perfect. I have no problems with it, but I don't see you doing that forever. I see you more being into a stable workplace where there's no contracts. You're there until you actually decide that you're going to be leaving. Yeah. But it could still be very, very good for you, that being said. And what's coming up for the rest of 2024 project-wise on job offers? Let's go and see. So project-wise and job offers. What is popping on through, sweet love? And that is DM. Okay, I got you, sweetie. Alrighty, so five of wands getting over here, five of pentacles popping on through. Also getting our justice, yes, 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 and yes. Eight of swords and our four of wands. All right, my love, what I'm going to say for you, what's coming up for the rest of 2024, you definitely do have some challenges. I'm not gonna lie, there's challenges. Um, sometimes I kind of feel like what you want and what you deserve don't necessarily go together. You want some things and you deserve some things, but I don't always feel like it's necessarily offered towards you. I feel like you're a little bit into a place where it's a little bit difficult market-wise at this moment in time, but I also do feel as though over here we're kind of if you want, I feel I feel as though you're going to be needing some type of help from somebody. Somebody's going to be assisting you and helping you and moving on forward. That there's no doubt, sweetie pie. This person is here. They're helping you. It could be a teacher. It could be somebody who's helping you out. Like a, I'm not going to say a tutor, but there's somebody who's who's helping you to find different type of. I'm going to say. Um, ideas, different type of maybe techniques, maybe giving you some information onto the market, but there is somebody who is, seems to be helping you out over here. Now, I do see like two or three different little projects that seem to be coming upon until you actually find it. I still feel like within the following four months, you are getting your happiness. You're getting somewhat of a position that's going to be good for you. So I'm going to say from here till there. So from here to let's say the end of summer, you could be doing little jobs here and there, a little bit freelance, but I do still believe that you are going to be finding a job into a little company over here, but with beautiful stability at the end of summer, sweetie. If that's what it is, right? Yeah. Exactly. That's what I can see, sweetie. Let me know, my beautiful Elaine, if there's anything else I can do for you, my sweetie pie. I'm sending you much love. If you have any other questions, let me know. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go and see our beautiful Paola, okay, sweetie? And I'm sending you a whole bunch of love. Paula, nice to see you. Um, Paula, Paula, Paula is going to be at 108 and 20 seconds. So, Paula, 
128 and I said, well, now I'm saying 30 seconds because I typed too slowly. <gasps> okay. Um, Paola, sweetie pie, what do we have? A general in love. And if you go back to school into the fall, you're going to make some new friends. Let's go and see that right away. Um, thank you so very much, my sweet love. Thank you so very much for your donation, sweetie. And it is your first one. It is nice to see you. Give me a few moments and I shall be with you, okay? I'm not quite sure how to say your name, sweetie pie. A Maori, I believe, or Dennis. So um, if I'm not saying your name well, I am really, really sorry. And I shall be with you in a few moments, okay, love? Thank you so very much, sweetie. So, Paula, let's go and see what is popping on through. Um, let's go over here. And let's go over here. You're kind of worried. Oh, for do I get paid for your May freelance? Oh, oh, wait, let me go. Let me go and see that if you're going to get paid. Hold on, sweetie. Yeah, let me go and see that, Elaine. Hold on. I'm going to be with you, Paula, in just a second, love. Um, are you going to get paid for that? Let's go and see. Um, my aunt, my knight of shot, my knight popping on through. Um, I do actually feel as though you are going to get paid, but I don't believe that it's like a huge amount of money. But are you going to get paid a certain amount? I shall say yes. So I'm going to say yes. You are going to receive a certain amount of money, my beautiful Elaine. Um, thank you, my beautiful love. By the way, I'm going to go and post that on out at this moment in time. And Paula, let's go see what's going to be happening for you within um, within love. What is happening in love? Let me do that. Okay, in love, sweetie pie emotionally over here moving on forward also getting our tower um no i've been babbling on through a little it's all good sweetie pie not a problem my beautiful elaine neither um <coughs> oh i swallowed weirdly um sweet love you are with people why do i see why do i see over and over again you are dealing with people, sweet love. Um, I don't know, my beautiful Elaine, um, I'm not sure. I'm going to say maximum 2,000, sweetie. But I'm going to say somewhere around 1,500, perhaps, love. Paula, sweetie, either you're dealing or you have dealt with or you're always dealing with people that are kind of immature, that are not ready to give you what you want, what you need. It's like there's blockages. Yeah. It's like you're always dealing with people who are completely self-centered, which I hate. Oh, there you go. You're over there. You're always dealing with people who are, you know, self-centered, sweetie. They're not actually quite ready for relationships in any kind of a way. Um, you're tired. You're tired of this. You're tired of being a little bit all over the place, wondering what to do, how to move on forward. Um, yeah, you've had enough of all of that altogether. It's like enough is enough. I don't want no more. I'm closing this on up. You're bored with it. Yeah. I'm going to say there is somebody from your past. I don't know who it is, but there is somebody from your past who is holding on to you quite dearly, sweetie. Um, yeah. There is somebody who is holding on to you quite dearly, my sweet love. And they have never ever... It's somebody from the past. But they're not coming on forward towards you. I do have to say, though, because... Um, they're not coming towards you, but they're holding on to you. There's somebody from your past who still loves you. And you say there's a young guy who keeps messaging you, right? Yeah, but he doesn't want anything good, sweetie. If you want to have, if you want something sexy, young guy could be good. If you're looking for a commitment, forget about young guys, sweetie. It's not going to be what you want. Um, um, yeah, so hold on.
And let's go like this. Let's go see. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I have nothing, you know, if you want to have fun, it's all good. But this person is not going to give you what you want. Let's go and take some more cards out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not excited about this deck, seriously. Let's go to this one. The other one just told us there's immature people around you and you're tired of juggling things because you're always stuck with people who don't necessarily want to commit. Yeah, and we don't want that. That's not the information we're looking for. Um, okay, so the moon is coming on through along with our Eight of Swords. My God, you're tired of pain. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of like sorrow and thinking and overthinking kind of things. Look at that. Another page of wands. Somebody coming on through with creations, but still kind of following on through. Love, I hate to say so. There is another man. That, well, there's, no, there's somebody else coming into your life, sweetie pie. Yeah, but no. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. And this guy is is not any better. Like, he's going to be moving on forward. He's going to want to be with you, but he's not going to want to move on up. He doesn't want to graduate to be a knight or a king. He's going to stay a little bit out of his position of being a page. So you do have somebody else coming into your life into the following two months who really just wants to have fun. Yeah, and you're kind of getting a little bit disappointed by the whole thing. You're getting a little bit annoyed by it all. And I get you. So I'm going to say whenever you get some red flags, run like hell. Just stop it right away. Don't continue until the whole thing. Yes. Um, um, just one second. Um. Just one moment, love. Just one second. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, sweetie pie. Um, I know, right? Yeah. Let me go see. If you go to school, sweetie, if you go to school, are you going to make some new friends, some new people? So I'm basically going to have to say at this moment in time, my love, did you? Yeah, you're unfrozen now. You're unfrozen. It's my fault, Ponson. It's my fault. Yeah, it's my fault. I got neighbors sending me questions for my children. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Wanting to know if they want to go for walks at 930 at night. <laughs> ah! All right, so here we go. Getting our Ten of Pentacles that is coming on through. Also getting our Ten of Swords. Getting our Three of Swords. A little bit of a complication over here, but I'm going to say a yes. What I'm going to say is if you decide to go back to school, my sweet love, into the fall, it's going to be a little bit chaotic at first, but after that I feel like you're going to be okay. It's probably going to take a good two to three months before being able to get really those nice and those deep and those very strong connections. But once you actually do do that, I'm going to say there are four people in particular that I can see um, that are going to become more important into your life and they're going to end up following you on through. So will you? I will say yes. Specifically, I'm going to say four of them. Three seem to be women. One seem to be a man. But it's all into a friendship kind of a way. As for love, like I said, you still. I want to I want to make up here for you a king, sweetie, but I keep seeing pages. So I'm going to say we're going to have to be careful whenever we see a page. Just kind of flush them on out because we want kings. We want kings. And we want nothing more than a king because you're a queen and you deserve a king. Yes. So that's what I've got for you, my sweet love. Um, let me know, my beautiful Paula, if there's anything else I can do for you. Okay, sweetie pie. Um, Elaine, maybe the 4,200, maybe it is what it is, but maybe once you take tax off and everything, it eats up half of it and it ends up being somewhere around 2,000. Maybe I'm actually seeing the amount without, you know, taxes deducted off of it, sweetie. 
I know. So I'm going to say approximately four of them. It's going to take a couple of weeks, but yes. Other than that, make sure that you keep on taking away the people that you don't want. If you don't want a page, let the page go. It's just going to allow and put your grounding so that more knights and kings come on into your life, sweetie pie. Thank you so very much, my beautiful Paola. You're a sweetie pie. Let me give you some messages from the universe, sweetie. Your destiny is calling. You better do answer. Happiness is going to be a beautiful inside job for you. I told you. Somebody wants to open up an X. I told you an X. Well, an X file. Mm -hmm. There's an X who keeps thinking about you, but they're not making movements. And um, I'm also going to say to you, open up to beautiful changes. My beautiful Paula, it is always lovely having you with us, sweetie. I am sending you so much love, sweetie pie. And congratulations if you do end up going back to, and yeah, please do so, sweetie. If you do end up going back to school, I hope I see you before you end up going back to school. But it's a beautiful idea, sweetie, and good for you, my love. I know, seriously, right, Juan said? At 9 o'clock, what kind of witch troll are they? <laughs> I kid you not. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's not even 9. It's like 9.30 at night. And they're going on to a walk. Apparently, my little girl's going to go because I hear her running upstairs. Yeah. Um... Oh... I see poster and I see packaging, Elaine. I'm going to see posters and packaging, sweetie. But once said, I'm a little bit witchy myself and I can never put myself to bed. My kids are just exactly like me, so. <laughs> I'm going to go and see our beautiful um, Regina. Regina is going to be having a timestamp, so let's go see. Timestamp at 1, 20, and 30 seconds for Regina. So, my beautiful Elaine, I am seeing more at this moment in time. I'm seeing poster and packaging. I'm not seeing stickers or anything of the such, sweetie. It is my pleasure, love. Sending you much love, sweetie. So, Regina, tell you all the good things that are coming towards you and how one day you're going to get your own place. Oh, sweetie. Let's go and see that. I surely hope for you, sweet one. Okay, so Regina it is. We're going to move on forward to Diane after to CC and DM. So please do stick around if my beautiful loves and um, I'm going to be with you beautiful souls in just a few moments. Okay, so here we go for Regina and yeah, what are the beautiful things that are coming your way? My God, love, relationship, respect. Hey, now that I think of it, I think you had a question that I did not answer towards my beautiful Regina. Okay, um, I've been bombarded today, my beautiful Regina. I've had like a million different things. So later I'm going to get onto my laptop and I believe I have something from you. So I will answer whatever I did not answer. Okay. I don't know. I just had a flash because I saw your name, sweetie. I'll answer whatever it is that you sent me, my love. Um, Elaine, sweetie, have yourself sweet dreams, my love. Take care of yourself. Ah, thank you, Cece. I appreciate it. Okay, so um, what is coming on through? Okay, Regina, I'm still seeing love. I'm still seeing love. Love is there. But the love, it's like this is what you want. You want love, but mm -hmm. I'm getting over here looking. We're wanting to be. This is still has to do with A. You still got A. A loves you, and you still, you still care for A. But there's heartache. There is heartache. There is. Okay, love. Um, this is what I'm going to say. A's energy is still around you. And it's still around you. Has not left you. And I need it to go away. Because A is not going to give you anything good, right? I know, I know. Oh, Regina, I've been like extra busy since like yesterday. I've had a zillion different kind of things. Um, but I promise you, um... I'm going to catch up to everything when we're done with the live, okay? I've got you, my love. So let me go and see what I've got over here popping on through. Just one second. Um, okay. He's still into your energy. Seriously, he's over here. He's wanting to take, like, possession. And I'm not going to say he's, like, possessing you. I don't want to say that. <laughs> It's not like a haunting movie, but 
he's he's still into your energy he still wants to be there because he still does love you he does still care for you but he ultimately knows that this is going to end at some kind of place of like a heartache of frustration something of the such so there's like frustration that seems to be coming on through within this altogether. um but i feel i feel like I feel like we are thinking, we are wanting, we are wishing. I feel like into his mind, honestly, I feel like he has not been completely clear and completely honest with you. As much as he never really wanted the long-term commitment kind of a thing, he was kind of a little bit heads up into the air, thinking about what life could be, how would things be happening, how, you know, how and how and how and how and how. But we don't really know how all those things are going to be happening. But, oh, my God, we have so many illusions and so many thoughts. So is he still dreaming? Is he still thinking? Is he still kind of fantasizing? I'm going to say yes to all those things. Is he making all those things come on true? He's not. That's where the main problem is happening. Yeah. I can see you, Lilith. Why? Did you ask for another question? Why do you say that, Lilith? Who's not seeing you, sweetie pie? Am I not seeing you? Who's not seeing you? Yeah, hold on. Um, let me go on and put this little duck uh, over there. Is somebody purposely not seeing you, Lilith? <laughs> I'm saying purposely. Um, okay. So let's go on and see. But I, I can see you. It's almost like a question coming from the sixth sense. Can you see me? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Diane, let me know if you're still here. And Cece, Cece, could you please post your questions for me? Cece is going to be next, and then I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go and see Cece. I need DM to post her questions too, and then I'm going to go and see Diane because I already have Diane's questions. I need Cece and DM to post their questions, please, my beautiful loves. Wherever you're at, into the shorts, into the long format, please post your questions, sweet love. Okay. And here you go. Let me just go and unpin this for you, sweetie. I know you want your energy back, right? And you want new energy. I got you, sweetie. Thank you, my beautiful Diane, love. I know. You're emotionally detaching yourself. I know. But that's it. You're emotionally detaching yourself, but you're still a little bit into the progress of it, which is why I'm still seeing that energy. I'm still seeing that kind of flowing on through. Um, okay. I'm getting over here for you. The, um, the Wheel of Fortune coming on through. I'm also seeing over here that you're feeling a little bit unfulfilled, but you're at the right place at the right moment. What I need you to do is retreat yourself. Stay far away. Six of Swords, movement, transition. You're going to be moving. You're moving, my love. Is it necessarily into your own place? I don't know. I'm going to go and see, but you're moving. I thank you, my beautiful Cece, for posting. You're next, my love. You keep getting these types, right? I know. And why? But they care for you the same scenario. I know. It's always the same thing over and over and over again, right? That's because you're a little bit stuck into that cycle, sweetie. Things go round and round and round and round. You're still looking for the same type of man, Regina. You need to let them go. If you're always looking for the same type of physical man who has the same type of patterns, you need to let them go. They're no good for you, sweetie. That's why you're always stuck with them. You're always stuck with unemotional available men because you're always sticking into the same type of um, a frame. You need to look elsewhere. You know, sometimes you say, sometimes people say, you know, love is completely blind. Um, you think outside the box. You go and meet somebody else, somebody that you would not necessarily be with or you would not necessarily choose because you a little bit kind of changed your variations upon what your perfect man would be. Um, and you just kind of try it on out. And sometimes that's the actual, you know, true love of your life, sweetie. And that's where everything ends up changing because there's a different perspective. There's a different way of thinking. There's a different thought. There's a different, you're just breaking the cycle altogether or what was bad. If you stick into your cycle, you're going to continue with the same people. I need you to break free. Not just from him. I need you to break free from the type of men that you're looking for. Please write a little bit what kind of man you're looking for. Is it that you're looking for stability, you know? And that's it. And you want out. Look at the man, okay, that you're dating and try to figure out. All right. Um, so I'm... Um, 
Oh no, Lilith, all is good. Cece is up next, my beautiful Lilith. Cece is up next, my beautiful sweet soul. Everything is absolutely perfect, my love. Um, thank you for posting, my beautiful Cece. So yeah, Regina, look at the type of men you're looking for. Are you looking for tall men who have dark hair, brown eyes, and they have short hair, and they've got glasses because you think they're cute? And this is just an example. I'm not saying it is what it is. Um, are you looking for people that are around you, who work into the same environment? You need to look at, take all the men that you have been with, let's say into the last five years, and write down their attributes, write down what they were doing as a job, what they look like, and find your, your cycle and break it. Look for somebody completely new. That's how you're going to break the cycle, sweetie. It's the only way. Otherwise, you are going to continue into the same place. You have a type physically, right? And that's it. I know. I know there's problems with trusting. I know that, sweetie pie. But the trusting is not an issue for me. And you love chocolate fine men. <laughs> well, there's a lot of handsome chocolate fine men out there, sweetie pie. But I need you to look for a different chocolate kind of fine man, okay? Um, look for a chocolate fine man who maybe is a little bit shorter, a little bit taller, maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit younger. Um, maybe who doesn't work at the same place as you. Um, and make sure from the get-go, from the very beginning always ask. I know it sucks to ask a question, what are you looking for? But if you ask the question, what are you looking for? And they tell you, oh, I'm just looking for fun. All right. Well, I'm going to turn the page. It's not what I want. If they tell you I'm looking for a long-term commitment, perfect. What are you looking into a partner? What would you like? Now we can continue to talk. You need to make it clear from the get-go, sweetie. Tall, nice body, and nice smile. Yeah, I know. Now you're just, now you need a, sh now you just need like a, a, a nice block. We're like an 18 plus here. We're moving on forward. I know, chocolate kings, right? <laughs> we're all going into some type, of, we're all going to go into a box soon. Every single one of us. Hi, Dawn. It is nice to see you, sweetie. You are walking on in onto fine chocolate men, sweetie pie. That is what you're doing. And I'm not going to get perverted into it because there's a lot of things I could say about it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Again, I'm going to put myself into a box. Um, mm -hmm. So think about something different, okay? That's it, sweetie. That's what you need to do. Start asking right away, right away. It needs to be clear. What are you looking for? Are you looking just for fun? Are you looking for socks? Are you looking for a long-term commitment? If you're looking for socks, you're sexy as hell, but I'm not interested into it. Goodbye, ciao, arrivederci. See you another time. Go towards somebody else. You're going to clear out a lot of people, but you're going to end up finding one nice, sweet one. And that's the one who's going to be good for you. Don't waste your time on people who are not going to give you what you want. Uh, yes. Uh, so there you go. Um, yeah, switch it up, switch it up, okay, sweetie, uh, that's it, switch it up, my love, long hair, short hair, business, mechanics, switch it on up, biker man, whatever you want, switch it, other than that, are you gonna find your own house, let me go and see, <laughs> you gotta switch it up, you gotta, you gotta make yourself a Caesar salad here, sweetie, okay, um, okay, So, it is my great pleasure, my dear Sean. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, gosh, call pray for you. <laughs> oh, we will. We're going to be here right with you for all of your adventures, every single one of them. We will, we will help you on through them. <laughs> hey, look at that. I told you that you're moving. I did. King of Pentacles, things are actually kind of moving on forward for you, but somewhat of a beginning. I'm not going to say, I do see you moving this year. At some point this year you're moving, but I don't necessarily believe that it's into your own place, but you are moving. I believe that the opportunity for you to move into your own place is going to happen within the following year to two years. Um, that could switch on up. It could be before. It could be a little bit later. I'm going to say within the following one to two years, but for some reason this year I see you moving. Yeah. So you let me know, my beautiful love, if there's anything else I can do for you, my beautiful Regina. Otherwise, I shall, um, well, I shall, I shall write back to your message later on, sweetie. I shall, I shall. 
It is a joy to have you with us. You're never here for your reading, Regina. It is lovely that you are here. We love you, sweetie. CC, 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 CC. Where's my CC? Where is she? Here she is. What are Danny's feelings since delivering my news to him today? And what are his next actions? For some reason, I saw my new toy to him today and I thought, oh my God. But I think I'm still into the whole idea of the vibes of switching things up with Regina. <laughs> All right, my love. Let's go and see what we've got. So we are with Cece. A DM is going to be on up next. I still don't have any news from DM though. So if a DM is somewhere around, please do post your questions, my sweet love. We are looking for you. Um, and that's that's my that's 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 it. That's what I've got to say. Um, so DM, you're gonna be next wherever you are. Please do post your questions, my love. So here we go for Cece. What are Danny's feelings since delivering your news to him today, and what are his actions? You didn't give a good news, did you? Uh, why am I seeing Five of Wands complications? I'm seeing hanged man. I'm seeing overburdened. I'm seeing almost like we're a little bit letting go. There's a milestone that you guys are moving on forward towards at this moment. But it's 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 like fishy, sweetie pie. What happened? You didn't deliver him good news, did you? Yeah, what happened, my love? Yeah, does this make any sense? What happened over here, sweetie pie? Um, let me know if this is making any sense towards you because it's 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 like if you have delivered some news that this person did not want to hear, and it's like they're a little bit disappointed, and it's like they don't really know what to do with uh, with it. I feel like sometimes they kind of want to escape, but they don't necessarily want to escape. So I'm seeing like a lot of complications that are actually coming from it. I actually kind of see like they're a little bit sneaking away. So it's almost like if they're holding on to you. Um, but they're not necessarily giving you a lot of approach not necessarily approaching you into the return, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Does this make any sense towards you, my love? It does, right? Yeah. Um, it's an expected news of pregnancy. Aha. Okay. We don't know what the heck to do. This person's going to run away, sweetie. This person's going to run away. Um, Cece, I don't know. It's usually a beautiful news, but I don't know if it's something that you want or not. So if you do want this beautiful child, I shall say for you, congratulations, my love. And if you do not want it, then I will say um, decisions are necessarily going to have to be taken, right? Um, yeah. Um, no, you did not, my beautiful Diane. I've got you, sweetie. You are coming on up. I've got you. You haven't missed anything, my beautiful Diane. So, yeah, um, we don't know what to do. I feel like there's going to be a pause. There is going to be a delay. A lot of overburdens. Um, a really, really big milestone, like I said. But I kind of feel like we're going to end up kind of sneaking away. I do. Yeah. And you do want it. Okay, so my beautiful Cece, from me coming to you, I shall say for you, my sweet love. Congratulations, my beautiful sweet one. I believe it's going to be a girl. I might be wrong at this moment. I believe it's going to be a little girl, sweetie pie. Um, and I'm going to say congratulations to you. I really, really do hope that he is going to be there for you. I do. Oh, Diane, I would never forget about you, sweet love. But I kind of feel as though there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of flow of emotions coming on through. But I feel like we don't really know what to do. I feel like um, we are afraid to confront you. We're afraid about what you're going to be thinking. Um, yeah. I kind of feel like he wants to try to get away with it. I kind of feel, yeah. I kind of feel as though he's going to... Um, I, feel like, I feel like he doesn't necessarily want the child, sweetie. I feel like he's going to try to kind of sneak away. And hoping that you're either going to terminate or that you're just going to let him be and that's what it is but I don't feel like he is ready for this and I unfortunately don't see him I'm going to take out another deck I don't see him be ready for any type of commitment my love I just don't see that sweetie pie oh and it's a really really big you're not the only one into this situation sweetie pie my god you are not we see this all the time but at the same time, I do have to say, I know that it's a lot of work. I know there's a lot of things that actually go along with it. So 
I get your stress, I get your excitement, kind of get everything that goes along with it. Um, and let me go and see. Um, Am Amaori or Ordenes, Ordenes, yeah, sweetie pie. Let me know if you're here because you're going to be on up next, okay? So you're going to be on up next, my love. Please let me know, Amaori Ordenes, if you are here. Um, then we're going to go and see Diane and whenever DM comes on in. Okay, so let me know wherever you are, my love. And into the meanwhile, sweetie pie, let me go and continue. I'm getting wanting a certain amount of freedom. I'm getting an ending. I'm getting an ending, love. I'm going to say, sweetie pie, I don't necessarily believe that this person is going to be following you through this. I believe that you will follow on through. I believe that you will demand for certain things, which you should and which you must, because it is his responsibility, right? Um, but I basically believe that this person is going to try to not respond, kind of hide away and just not take any responsibilities or try not to take any responsibilities. If you try to force any responsibilities upon them, they will not necessarily have a choice. But otherwise, I feel like they're unfortunately going to try to sneak away, my love. And I'm so, 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 so sorry. I don't believe you're necessarily going to be hearing any news from them. Um, I believe they're just going to try to kind of act like if nothing really happened. Yes, they are trying to process it, but I unfortunately don't see them wanting a child at this moment, my love. I know. Oh, I'm sorry, CC. I am saying congratulations to you, sweetie. May this person be there or not when you want it. You've got that beautiful life. You've got that beautiful, I'm going to say gift, because it is a beautiful gift. And it's one of the most beautiful gifts that you can always have. Um, it is full of love. It is a beautiful place to be into. And I'm going to say congratulations to you. And please let us know how all this goes. We will be here and we will be supporting you all the way on through, my love. DM, did you miss? Well, I was looking for you. You can post your question. Post your question, my love, DM. I'm going to go and see over here. We are going to put a timestamp at 140. Yeah, I'm sending you much love. We're here for you, sweetie, at all times. I hope, I hope he switches this around. I really do. Um, Go ahead with it, my beautiful DM. I shall be with you in just one moment. Um... So at this moment, I'm going to go and see Amaury, um, and I'm going to write this on out for you. Oh, I'm not going to write the whole name, and we're going to be at 141. Okay, my love? So here we go. A beautiful DM is going to be on up next, and then we're going to go and see our beautiful Diane. So... Here we go, my sweet love. You are wondering a future love reading. Absolutely. Let's go see what we've got. You are here. I got you, love. Here we go. Thank you, DM, for posting. Okay, I got you, DM. We're going to check that on out, sweetie. Let's just give me a few moments, my love. So let's go and see what we've got. You're trying to figure out his feelings, right? Okay. So love reading over here. A future love reading. What is coming on through? And I shall look at the list in just a few moments when we are done with DM. Okay. Then we're moving on forward to Diane after. So, sweetie, you are wanting, you are dreaming, you are wanting something. Is it possible, my love, that you want somebody who is from your past? You want somebody to come on back? There's somebody that you still love, somebody that you care about, but there's tension, there's conflict. But you're kind of waiting for this person. To, are you waiting for somebody to come back in, sweetie? It doesn't make any sense. Are you looking for somebody to come back in with you? Let me know if that is making if that is making sense to you. You are, right? Okay, this is what I'm seeing. Yeah. You're waiting for this person, but there's been conflicts. There's been disagreements. There's been tension. And this person does still love you. This person does still love you, and you still love them. But there's a lot of mutual attraction, and you're just kind of waiting. It's almost like if you guys are a little bit on pause, but I don't feel like you have a determined amount for the pause. I feel like it's maybe a little bit like a breakup, and whatever happens, happens, and we're just kind of hoping and thinking and wishing everything as such. Um, yeah. Well, let me take out some more cards and see what we've got. 
there is no doubt at this moment this other person does still love you they still love you they have a lot of respect towards you but they would like to believe that things are going to be different they would like to believe that things will be better but it's like they're waiting for something they're waiting for something to happen they're waiting for a milestone it's like if oh god some people will just wait for that moment where everything makes sense they're going to wake up one morning they're going to feel good and they're going to make their decision and that's going to be it i kind of feel like this is it but i hate when that happens because often when that happens it doesn't happen nobody actually wakes on up one morning and thinking oh my god i'm feeling so much better today i'm ready to get back into that relationship people don't do that it's into the idealism it's into their thoughts into it's into their ideas but they don't actually do it i feel like your other person over here is looking towards himself trying to find themselves trying to find their respect trying to find their love and the other person is looking for excitement looking for adventure but not willing to go and get it. Your person at this moment wants to stay within themselves, sweetie. Um, um, and I'm going to take another deck out. Um, the person that you love, the person that you care for, the person that you want back into your life, they have a want and a desire for a lot of novelty, a lot of changes, a lot of things, but they're not taking any actions towards it. They're not looking towards it. They're not moving towards it. They're a little bit stuck, if you will, into their own place. yeah um let me take out some more cards i don't see this person opening on up at some point i see them watching i see them thinking i see them kind of almost the idea is always there but they're like isolating themselves into their thoughts into their self and the more they think the more they get into their own feelings the more they end up isolating themselves and the more time goes on by the more they figure they kind of need to just kind of turn the page like they're not ready. Let me take out some more, sweetie. Um, we're going to go to this little deck over here. They love you. They love you, sweetie. They do. They love you. And they're always into that moment of decision. What do we do? How do we move on forward? They're missing the strength. They're missing the courage to come on back. The chariot. They're away. They're afraid if they go back with you of the ending. If there's going to be an ending. If you guys will be back into the same place. That's what their ultimate fear is all about. If you have any contact with this person, I say try to contact them because they do love you. I say try with a different type of technique. Um, try to think about the relationship, about what went wrong, um, and how maybe you realize that certain things were not perfect, and maybe come up with different solutions so that um, we can find those solutions so maybe we can start up again. Because without those solutions, without an actual reach out, this person's not going to reach out towards you. They're going to stay into their hermit mode. And at some point, you're both going to end up taking your own paths. But it would be unfortunate because this person does love you. And you do still love them. Let me go see if I see anybody else or anything else popping on through. Okay, my love? Let me go with, um, let me go see with this little deck. Um... Here we go. So my beautiful DM is going to be next. After that, I'm going to sh close up the shorts feed. And I'm going to be moving on forward um, into the classic feed. Yes. So, okay. I'm getting over here our tower. I'm getting our moon popping on through. It's like what happened between you guys was too much to digest. It was too painful. And we don't know what to do with those emotions. They're still all confused within us. We need a direction. We need a direction. Your person needs a direction. But they feel like they don't know how to speak to you, what to say towards you. They're feeling a little bit helpless. 
and they don't really know what you guys could do, which is why the solutions are going to be important. The ideas are going to be important over here. Yeah, I don't believe that she has moved on. I don't believe she has moved on. I believe she still loves you. I believe she still holds on to you, but she holds on to a lot of fear. She holds on to a lot of sadness. And I ultimately believe that she is into a place where she doesn't know what you guys could do that would change things, that would modify things. So I'm going to say don't live in doubt. I hate to live in doubt. I don't like doubt. I like things to be clear. So um, doubt just brings in things that are nebulous, things that are, oof, yeah, I don't like it. Um, it's not going to cost you anything to reach on out. So if you guys have not had the most horrible, you know, breakup altogether, reach on out to try to just kind of see um, you know, a little bit of a hi, how are you doing? You know, um, just, you know, catching up on some news. You don't have to come on in into the subject right away. Just saying, hi, how are you doing? Just wondering what you're up to. I've been thinking about you lately. I hope you're okay. See if they respond on back. If they respond on back, it's a little bit of an opening for you to come on in a little bit more with trying to resolve what has happened. If they do not respond, then I shall say the hurt is too much and they're not ready for anything at this moment. Oh, it sucks, Watson. It sucks. One, one, Watson, one. Not even, mon not even, not, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to give you the position again next week, sweetie. You're not, do this is just not your giveaway week. <laughs> yeah, it's sucky, sucky. Maybe I should promote it more. Maybe it'll be better. I don't know. Um... Let me give you some hermit cards to come on in over here, okay, love? And see what I've got popping on through. All right. Uh, let's do that. Hey, I saw Maria pop on up into my email. Where have you been, Maria, Maria, Maria? Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. You took bite. I know you don't. It's like, seriously. Um, I do still have so much desire towards you. I do dream about you a lot, so this person does still think about you an awful lot, sweetie. But here you go. We need more time. Um, I'm ready, but it's in reverse position, so not too ready at this moment. And wondering sometimes if you really do care. So it's like they don't really completely know how you feel or what you care or really what you want at this moment. So there's a lot of things that are at play, okay, my love? If you're able to talk with this person, I say go ahead with it. Try to reach out. If not, I feel like over time, you're both going to a little bit kind of take your way, sweetie pie. I don't necessarily see anybody else new, though, into your energy neither because the energy is really, really quite fulfilled with this person. And in order for somebody new to come on in, we're going to have to release that energy that is going on over there, sweetie pie. I'm sending you much love, sweet one. Let me go and see over here for our beautiful uh, DM. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to close up the shorts after. And I'm going to go on to the classic. I'm going to go and see our beautiful Diane. I'm going to go and see Maria and all the other beautiful souls that are over there. Um, so here we go. Yeah, maybe you did, my beautiful Lilith. Maybe you did. Um, oh, there you go. Oh, you're like into a mix of Spanish and Italian. Oh, yes, you are. How are you doing, Bellissima? Maria, beautiful. It is nice to see you. You're busy at work and running around. Yeah, that's that's life. I get you. I do. My de beautiful DM, let's go on forward with it. Uh, Maria, we're going to be with you shortly, okay, sweetie pie? So please do be patient with us, and we shall be with you. DM, sweetie pie, what does T want with you? You recently reconciled, but you're having a really hard time. Okay. Diane, my love, you are next, followed up by Maria. So what does T want with you? What does T want with you? Yeah, no. Um, yeah, the first card coming on through is conflicts. Ooh, it's not what we want. Actually, I kind of feel as though this person wants more independence. 
It's like if this person wants my sweetie pie at this moment. I know that you guys have, re you know, have recently reconciled altogether, but it's almost like if we want to be with you, but we want to have our own life. We want to live our own independent life. We don't really want anybody else to come into the way. We don't want any problems. We don't want anything of the such. Thank you so very much, my beautiful Maria. Um... So I'm basically going to have to say, honestly, my love, I know that you guys are a little bit into a transition. I know there's a lot of things that are happening, but I kind of feel like both your feet are not into it. I feel like there's a lot of things that you guys are simply not saying. There's a lot of hidden emotions. Ah, okay. So you guys are a little bit stuck into a place where you have doubts, you're wondering. So you have one foot in, you have one foot out. This other person is wanting, okay? There's no doubt. He is wanting to keep his own independence, but he's got beautiful thoughts, beautiful love, does want to be with you. But neither one of you guys are completely saying how you're feeling and what's going on. There's so much that is stuck within you that you guys both need to express to kind of have a little bit of that explosion, a little bit of that volcano, and then... Whew, okay, now this is what we've got to do. This is how we're going to move on forward. Everything is out. Everything is onto a table. Now we know what to do. It's like we're a little bit kind of walking like onto an ice lake that is very, very thin at the springtime. We know it might crack at any point in time. We don't really want it to crack, but if it does, pff, we're just going to deal with it. I don't ultimately believe that you are 100% into it, sweetie. I don't necessarily believe that T is 100% into it neither. So it's like you guys are both kind of back together because you want to be together, but you're not both giving it the 100%. That's where I feel like the main problems are actually coming from over here, sweetie. Does that make any sense to you? That's it, right? I know, it's like one foot in, one foot out. But nobody is really completely saying. But nobody wants to leave each other at the same time. You want to be kind of into the relationship. T wants to be into the relationship, but it's half-half. You're either going to be all the way in or you're going to be all the way out. If it's one foot in, one foot out, it's going to fail, DM. It's going to fail, sweetie pie. I need you to sit down. Um, you already have some doubts, but you're not telling him. I need you to sit down and I need you to talk about your doubts, about your wants, about your desires. I need him to do the same thing for you. And I need him to say, where are we going into this relationship? What do you want? Hello, my beautiful Susan, sweetie pie. I need you to do the same thing. And I need you guys to come to some type of a common agreement because if you got, can't get to that common agreement, you're going to navigate away one from the other. No, does he have any feelings or I'm um, just, no, no, you're not a pastime. He does love you. He does care for you, but he loves you and cares for you into the way that he doesn't want to be 100% to the relationship. He does not want to move in with you. He does not want to look towards marriage. He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to see you maybe once or twice a week, but he wants to have his own independence. And that's what it is, Right. And that's where the need of independence is in my beautiful DM. We have a very, very strong need of living our own life aside from the life that we're living together. Because if we only live the life that we're living together and something goes wrong, everything crumbles on down. And then where are we? We're lost. And nobody wants to be lost. So you're both kind of hanging on to a false idea. You're both hanging on, if you will, to that lifeguard. But I don't want you to hold on to a lifeguard. I want him to be your lifeguard. I want you to be his lifeguard. That's what I want. And that's what caused the issues before. You're into the same place, my sweetie pie. Same place. You're going into the same circle. Same cycle. Get out of it, my sweet love, as much as you possibly can. The only way for you to get out of it is that. And that's it. But he's into the same place. So sit on down with him. Write him a message. Send him a message. He, You can send him, not a text though, an actual mail, an actual message, or sit on God, sit on down face to face and talk about it. You know, I kind of feel like you're maybe you're not giving yourself 100%. What are you looking for into this relationship? And then when he tells you, you can say, okay, I understand. You're looking for this. I'm willing to offer this. Could this be something that could be good for you so we don't return into those past patterns? That's what the most important thing is, my love. 
Okay, so you guys need to figure that out because he doesn't want to be with you. He's back and you do want to be with him because he's back. But you guys don't really ultimately trust each other and you're both looking for some lifeguard, but you should ultimately be your own lifeguard together. You should be there to support each other and help each other throughout the problems and not look for external links, if you know what I mean. Um, can I take you and a mom to Italy? You want, you want a Bellissimo pizza with no pineapple. Oh, my dear Sean, a uh, pizza with pineapple does not exist in Italy. That is a, um, an American creation, my sweet love. Um, Italians are really, really quite upset at the whole idea of pineapple onto a pizza, sweetie pie. The first time I went to Italy, I actually ordered with my boyfriend at that time, who is Italian. Um, I ordered a pizza, like an all-dressed pizza. I kid you not. I asked for this pizza, and this pizzeria was his friend's pizzeria. And I'm like, oh, I want, like, and he's like, what do you want in your pizza? I'm like, I don't know. What do you got? And I'm like, well, what do you usually eat? I'm like, I don't know. I eat it, like, all-dressed. So can I have, like, ham, and can I have cheese, and can I have peppers, and can I have mushrooms and onions? And they all looked at me like I was absolutely crazy. And I'm like, what? And they're like, this is a pizza. It's not, you know this is like a 15 layer kind of thing. And I got it. Oh my God. I could only eat one friggin' slice of the whole thing. That was absurd. So I definitely learned what a real pizza was when I was in Italy. I shall never order the same thing again. <laughs> I know you do, right? Um, you definitely do. Hold on, my beautiful. I've gone into pizza world, but of course you do. I always end up my readings with, with messages, my sweet love. Hold on and let me go and give that to you at this moment, DM. Uh, what is that? Pickle? A pickle or a spicy stuff? Especially, no olives. Yeah, no, okay. They only have really big pizzas. It's one format. They don't have different formats, Sean. It's one. That's a huge, that's a huge bugger of a pizza. Uh, so here we go for messages. Um, okay. I kid you not. I look like a dumb, dumb Hanson. Oh my God. I wanted to, you know, hide underneath the table after. Um, so you see, I don't quite know what it is that I want, but I have never felt anything like this before. I also want you to know over here, oh, don't worry, beautiful Susan, we've got you, sweetie pie. I know that our souls are entwined. I want you to know that I'm still learning to love myself and the intensity of our connection absolutely frightens me, my sweet love. My beautiful DM, I am just gonna send you so much love, my sweetie. You're next. You're next, Diane. It is you, my love. I am going to send you so much love. Please do what I talked about a little bit. It's going to help you an awful lot, sweetie pie. And you really need to find your direction. He does love you. He does care for you. But you guys have a lot of trust issues and you're falling back into the same cycles. Don't fall back into the same cycle after you, you have just reconciled. Find a new path. It's going to bring good things towards you. Okay. I did look like a dumb, dumb Carrie. I did. And I was like, I don't know, 22 years old in Italy. Uh-huh. No, that was crazy. Um, no, I kid you not. I was 22 years old in Italy ordering a pizza like an American type of pizza. It doesn't happen in Italy. <laughs> yes, but I've learned to love different type of pizzas. A banana pepper on a pizza. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Hi, Fried Eyes. It is nice to see you, my love. Um, anybody who is into the shorts feed, I am going to shut it on off because my phone does need its own battery. Um, but I do love you guys. And anybody who is here, please go from this one all the way into the other live. The other live is still there. It's good. It's alive. We're here. Come and chit chat with us and um, sending any, everybody much love. I'm closing up this live. Come to the classic one, sweetie pies. DM, love you, sweetie. Okay. I know. What is that? Oh, pizza and beer. I don't drink beer, but pizza. Oh, my God. And finish that on off with a limoncello. Oh, God. Yes. And they just drink limoncellos like shooters. I kid you not. Oh, my dear God. Yeah. I never even drank alcohol when I was over there. I was not an alcohol drinker, but now look at me. I drink a limoncello and I love it, but I will not take it as a shooter. <laughs> God. Um, okay, hold on. Um, 
Okay. Hi, Watson. It's nice to see you. Oh, my God. My phone was almost dead. It's at 21%. Oh, my dear God. Yeah, I don't like beer neither. It's not a good thing. Okay, hold on. Let me go over here. Yeah, I feel like I need to get myself a wire, which I think I'm actually going to go and get. Um, so, hold on, hold on. Where is it? I was moving to Diane. Hello, beautiful bright eyes. It is nice to see you, sweetie pie. So, let me go on and put our beautiful bright eyes uh, just over here. Oh. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay. So, Diane, what is popping on through for you? Sweet love, Diane. Diane needs a timestamp. Do I, no, I don't see your question. I don't. I do not, Regina. Hold on, my love. Where are you? It's it's good that you put me back into my position because between all the toggling I do, I lose things. Where are you, sweetie? Oh, not sure if I saw your question. No, I didn't. Will you be shaking up with some man? Are will will you be shaking up with some man? You hope not. <laughs> Oh God. Okay, let me go and see. Yeah. Let's go and find that out. Okay. Um I'm actually seeing a no, sweetie. I'm gonna say no, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say that you're good, sweetie pie. Um mm hmm So no, I'm gonna say you're good, my beautiful. Nothing happening at this moment in time, my love. Oh, you're such a sweetie pie. You are my love. Uh, now when I go to Italy, I, you know, I live there for a little while, my dear Sean. Um, I have learned the ways of the trade. I know what to ask. I still speak like a tourist, but at least I know what to ask. <laughs> All right, so uh, Diane. Diane is at 206. 206 for our beautiful Diane. And then I'm going to be moving on forward to, I believe, Maria, Susan, and Bright Eyes. We're going to be closing up the live readings in 20 minutes. So 20 minutes it is what it is. You see your name? Of course your name is there. I've got you, sweetie pie. But um, I have Maria and Diane that are right before you, my love. So let's do this. And uh, voila. Okay. Diana. <laughs> oh, Quanson, by the way, subwise, I'm still at the same place. I know, thank goodness, right? I know, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it with you. I'm going to send you hearts, Regina. Um... Oh, you're such a sweetie pie, Sean. You're such a sweetie pie. You are. You are. Um, what are the arguments going to be? Oh, silly little things, sweetie pie. Just life. Life is what it is. It's got silly arguments, sweetie pie, but it doesn't really mean anything altogether. It's just sometimes a little bit silly. Yeah. Thank you, my beautiful Lola. It could be stupid things. I want to eat pizza and the other person wants to eat tacos, but we bought things for pizza. Yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm actually going to say for you over here, my love, it's nothing that is very, very traumatic. It is nothing that is big. It is nothing to be worried about. I don't want you to worry about the arguments. Oh my God, don't ever worry about the arguments, beautiful Diane. Think about the good, think about the positive. Arguments will happen at one point or a time. 
It could be because you just washed the floor and somebody walked on by with their boots. Um, it could be because, I don't know, somebody decided to cook something, but hey, you're the one who ought to want to eat that. Or it could be because the TV's a little bit too loud. It's like tiny little things. They could become annoying at a certain amount of time if nobody actually listens, but all those tiny little things are simply tiny little things altogether. Nothing much more. So I'm basically going to say for you over here, my sweetie pie, all those little arguments are not going to amount to something that is going to be huge. It's not going to amount to something that's going to be deranging or annoying in any kind of a way. Um, um, what happened? What happened? I don't know what happened, Carrie. What are you talking about? What happened with what? Please send me a message. I have no idea what I was supposed to write back to you. And you are right, my beautiful Carrie. I was up until like 2.30 in the morning with my private readings. And earlier, I did a private reading that I did not do yesterday, my beautiful Carrie. And I let Prince downstairs with me, which I never, ever, ever do. My dear God, he, I did not even notice. He was playing around my computer and ripped off my cord for my USB for my blue ball. And my video had no sound. I have to redo it. Oh, that little dude. Yeah, that's what I have to say. Um, so here we go. Yeah, so don't worry about it, okay? Hi, Gigi. Gigi Laveau. You sound like you've got a name that sounds like it's coming out of a Hollywood scene, sweetie. Oh, okay, Carrie. I got you, sweetie pie. I've got you. I do. Um, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I do, I do, I do. Not a problem. I will get back to you, sweetie pie. But basically, David's in Mexico at this moment for a week. That'll save me of that texting. And the rest, I'll let you know later. Um, okay, so let's go and see what else we've got. Other than the whole frustrations, nothing is really going to be happening. And will you all be in one bedroom? No, you're in separate bedrooms. My dear God. No, there are three bedrooms, sweetie. You've got your bedroom. Um, yeah. Um, I said some stuff happened. I don't know. Well, probably about the new one, sweetie. I'll let you know later, Carrie. I'll let you know, sweetie. Um... So I'm basically going to say over here for you. Yeah, I know, Carrie, seriously. Um, I'm going to put all Davids into the same melting pot. I want to put them into a witching, a witchy cauldron is what I want to do. That being said, if there's any sweet Davids out there, we love you. We just want to put the nasty ones into a cauldron. Yeah, I know, right, Carrie? Um, that being said, I hear my dog upstairs who ripped off my cord later, earlier. So, here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diane. Um, so, yeah, you guys actually do have three different bedrooms. So, there is a bedroom. There is one that is for you. There is one that is for Sean and Samantha. But I feel as though you have an extra one. I'm not quite sure if everything has been decided. I feel like the extra one is either going to be a bedroom for baby or it's going to be a bedroom for guests. It's going to be one or the two, sweetie pie. If ever babies do come upon, then I do actually believe that... Um Oh my God, Hwanson, I just received your email right here at this moment. I kid you not. Um, so, yeah, either this bedroom, this extra bedroom is going to be used towards, um, like I said, guests until baby arrives. And then when baby arrives, I feel like you guys are going to be transferring the guests to like a couch bed or something of the such, sweetie. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Carrie, get back into the chat. People want you into the chat. Go into the chat, love. They don't want to hear my little birdies on my phone. <laughs> oh, my God. For babies. Yeah. Well, babies. I'll say baby or babies. Yes. Um, you are going to have a good marriage, sweetie. Everybody is going to understand each other. Everything is going to be good onto that. I've got no problem whatsoever, sweetie pie. Um, I don't even want you to worry about the marriage. Marriage is a work day by day, trying to understand, trying to give the love, trying to, to really just kind of go with the flow. Don't worry about it, sweetie. Everything is going to put itself into the right place at the right moment. But don't, there's our beautiful Carrie. Aha! 
And let's celebrate the arrival of Carrie. Yes. Nice to see you over here. So don't worry about it, okay? Well, let me give you some messages. Let's go over here. Um, Maria, where are you, sweetie? Because you're coming on up soon. Maria is next, followed up by Susan and Bright Eyes and Gigi. Gigi Laveau. Why is it Gigi Laveau means something? There is not a star or something that's thought to resemble something of it. It must have been the day. That's, I don't know. I just, just got it like right now. I thought you were sending me like some breaking news, Swanson. I'm like, oh my God, I need, I must go and see. It's almost like CNN was sending me some messages, but it was just an old message, Swanson. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, my beautiful Carrie, and thank you, my beautiful Maria, sweetie. And messages coming from you. Now, they are not messages of message cards, but they are messages that are actually coming from over here. Um, yeah, 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 Susan, Susan, you're after Maria, my sweetie pie. You are coming on up soon, sweet one. You're okay. Yeah, there's a Gigi in Hollywood. Well, of course, there's probably a Gigi in Hollywood, but a Gigi Laveau? It resembles. Why? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something is striking a chord into my mind. Is that the same with Samantha and Chuck? Yes. No. Both of your marriage are going to be absolutely not a problem, sweetie. Your marriages are going well. There's not a problem any kind of a way. Is it really, Watson? You see, I knew you know about the fashion industry. Yeah. Okay, so let me go and see what I've got over here. Um, what I'm going to say for you, and Susan, I will get to that in a few moments, my sweet love. You will take any David down for your lady. Oh, you're such a sweetie pie. Yeah, you need to take David down. Um, I know, I know. You're a sweetie pie. You're a sweetie pie. Um, David is really not creating any problems for me at this moment, so I'm going to say... It's all good. Um, that being said, um, the round table, mom. Uh, yes. Well, uh, well, that is King Arthur. Yeah, the round table. Uh-huh. Le roi sur. Absolutely, sweetie. I love the story about the King Arthur. I do. I love the idea of a round table. Nobody being superior to anybody else. Oh, I think that's fantastic. That being said, beautiful Diane, don't worry about it. A Sean's marriage is going to be as beautiful as your marriage is going to be. And I have don't, I don't have any issues with that at all. Um, from into the messages, what I can see over here for you, my beautiful Diane is I'm getting love. I'm getting that he is receiving your messages. I'm getting intuition. I'm getting beautiful messages that are being passed on through from one person to the next, going from the heart, going from the beautiful depth of his soul all the way to yours. He loves you immensely, my sweet love, and he wants you to know how much he truly does care for you and he will give you the absolute world. If I move on forward to give a message for Sean also, let's go see for Sean. What do we have for Sean? I've got like a galloping beagle upstairs. If you guys hear something, it sounds like a horse. It's a beagle. Uh, <laughs> here, here we go. Um, so I'm going to say over here for you, my dear Sean, um, I'm going to say your lady's got a lot of 3X, you know, messages for you. She's thinking about you. She's got like this sexy energy towards you, sweetie pie. She wants to know more about you. She wants to be able to create something with you and collaborate with you within something. So I'm going to say it's perfect. The actual idea that you had about working onto a car with her. I think it's great. It is. It is my beautiful Dion. Oh my God, nothing's happening to me and my kids, Sean. Have no fears, have no worries. We've got Beagalicious dog upstairs. Um, yeah, don't worry. I got Black Lady next door to me. Black, Black, Black Lady. Black Belt Lady next to me next door. I've got a police officer two houses away from, I've got no issues. Have no fears, have no fears. And I do have somewhat of a new king into my life, which I will let everybody know at that point in time. That being said, let me continue. Lilith and um, Watson, I shall update you guys in a few moments. I'll even send you a picture, I think. Okay, so here we go. Let's go and see what I've got going on for Maria. 
Maria. What do we got, Maria? You are on Opnox. Um, mm, 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 mm. Where's Maria? Where are you, love? Where are you? I see Susan. Where? I don't. Oh, maybe you're elsewhere. Maybe you're into my email. Yeah, there you go. I got you. All righty. Okay. So here we go for our beautiful Maria. And you're already here, so all is good and all is perfect. Watson, I'm going to say towards you, you're moving on up. You are now eight people away from a free reading. Only eight away. Eight away, my love. I am. Oh, yes, Watson. Oh, yes. I've got the luck of the Irish coming towards me. I do. Yeah, email, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've got the luck of the Irish coming towards me. The Irish are sexy as hell is all I can say. So let me continue on and let me go and see what I've got for you guys. Um, Maria, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Mm, hold on, hold on. Do, 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 do. You can. So has Roberto been thinking about you? Let's go and see. Susan is going to be on up next. Okay. Alrighty, so Sweetie Pie, he's been thinking, he's been wanting, he's been desiring to send you messages. Oh, he has a messenger coming on through. He wants to be lovable. He is thinking about you. He is wondering about you. He is thinking about what you're actually doing. Um, I feel as though he is into a place where he's thinking about you a lot. Um, He has a lot of abundance. He has a lot of love towards you. Of course I like you, right? Yeah, you should know in your past life you were one. <laughs> I'm going to take my luck with the lucky. I'm going to take the lucky charm. I kind of feel like I found the lucky charm. I'm going to take lucky charm. Um, so here we go. Um, what I'm going to say towards you <laughs> is the following. Um... Sweetie, he's been thinking about wanting to send out messages towards you. He sees so much abundance. He sees so much love. He sees so much. He sees fulfillment whenever he thinks about you as what he sees. He sees desires at the very same time. I know. Oh, I know, sweetie. Let those cries, let those tears fall on by, sweetie. He often tries to hide his feelings. He often tries to hide the way that he feels, that he loves, and that he desires. Um, I'm basically really just going to have to say over here because of the love that he has towards you, because of the desires that he has towards you, because he feels as though he has not necessarily fulfilled what he wanted to do with you. And sometimes he kind of wonders if it's, um, if it's a good idea, what he has done or what he has not done. So he's actually asking himself a lot of questions altogether. Yeah. Okay, well, let me go and see what else I've got. Um, Hold on just one moment. All right. 
So that's what I'm getting within his feelings. So has he been thinking about you? I'm going to say yes, my love. I'm going to say yes. Watson, you're moving on up, Spitty Pie. Please don't forget to subscribe, everybody. The live readings are going to be closing soon. But from the moment that we are still here doing some readings, if we reach the right amount of subscribers, we shall have a free reading that is going to be giving on out. Watson, you are now six people away from a free reading. Six people, my love. So, Roberto did think about you. I don't feel like there's anybody else around. I don't. I know, right? I know, my love. I know. You better. Oh, he does still love you. And there is nobody else around, and he is thinking about if he should message you or not. But I feel like he keeps on procrastinating over and over and over and over and over again. He is procrastinating upon actually reaching on out towards you. Yeah. Oh, he still loves you. He's he's not gone anywhere, sweetie pie. Um... What did the big boss think about you today? What did lady boss, anything funny from the big boss? Let's go see. Let's go see what big boss thought about you today. So what did big boss think about you today? I'm actually going to say you seem to be doing what you were supposed to do, but I feel as though you were kind of concentrated on what it was that you were doing. So um, I'm actually going to have to say for some reason also, I don't know why, Big Boss kind of thinks that maybe you're a little bit avoiding Big Boss. Yeah, interesting. Were you kind of avoiding Big Boss in some kind of way? Maybe it's just a little bit of a perception that Big Boss was having, but Big Boss kind of thought that you were a little bit avoiding him in some way, in some kind of a weird little way. What did Lady Boss think of you today? Lady Boss altogether thought that, honestly, you were doing absolutely perfect. You often kind of inspire her into different kind of ideas, different kind of thoughts altogether. I feel as though she inspires, well, you inspire her within new ideas, new thoughts, I'm going to say for the new school year that's going to be coming upon. So I'm going to say, good for you, sweetie pie. You seem to be really, really quite positive into her thoughts, into her ideas, into her programming, and into the way that everything is just really kind of moving on forward. Yeah. Is there anything funny with Big Boss? Let's go see if there's anything funny with Big Boss. Let's go and see that. Um, and then I'm just going to go put my phone on charge so I can continue to talk with you guys. And I'm going to come on over with Susan, Bright Eyes, and Gigi. Um, so what, anything funny coming from Big Boss? A big boss all together. Big boss over here, I feel, is trying to lay foundations all together. Oh, big boss, I do have something funny. For some kind of reason, big boss had a dream about you. But it was a dream about a wedding. It was a dream about ideas. It's like he married you into his dreams. Now, even him himself, he woke on up thinking about this. The only thing he remembered is that he married you, but he had no idea what. I kind of feel like he was a little bit traumatized by it, though. <laughs> I'm not going to say traumatized by the fact that he married you. They kind of traumatized by the actual fact that he would have this kind of a dream is what I truly want to say. It's not, not the same thing. Um, let me go and give you some messages coming from your sweetie pie and what your sweetie pie truly wants to say towards you. Um, and then I'm going to go and see our beautiful Susan over here. All right, so Watson, you are still, oh, actually, you're six away. You're six away, sweetie pie. I know, he's hilarious. He better, you're a very beautiful, gorgeous, yes, I know, right? You avoided eye contact. Aha! Is that bad because you giggle when you do look, don't giggle when you look at him, sweetie. He's going to think you're laughing at him, sweetie pie. Don't do that! No, don't do that. I know. I know. He would faint, right? <laughs> oh, don't giggle when you see him. Oh, my God. Then he's just going to think you're kind of laughing at him. Oh, no, don't do that, sweetie pie. Yeah, I can I can see where his issues are coming from. Um, 
And what I will say over here for you into the messages that are coming from your sweetie pie, my love, he wants to be stronger. He wants to be the emperor. He wants to have the leadership. He wants to be there to show you his love, his energy, his structure, what he wants, his stability, his control. He wants to be there with you. He wants you to know that he loves you, that he respects you, and that he is going to come on back towards you, sweetie pie. Oh, I know, love. Maria, I'm going to say your love story does continue. Um, and now give me one moment, my beautiful loves. I am going to go and put my phone on charge because it wants to go on a battery saver. It's, it's like driving itself crazy. So give me one moment. I'm going to go and do that. And I'm going to be right on back with you guys. So just one second. Um... Um. Okay, so just give me one second, guys. No, Watson, I don't need that much time. I'm just going to get my charger. One second, guy. One second. Susan, bright eyes, Gigi. I'm back. Phone is charging. And I got a bonus. I got a hug and a kiss from an angel. Yes. My son. Let's do electric slide. What are you talking? Oh, what is <laughs> What are you up to, Susan? Oh, you are dancing away. Oh, that is so funny. Oh my god. What is that thing? What is that? That is a weird looking emoticon, Hwanson. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. It's some kind of, I don't know. Is it an elf pulling out its ears onto its hat? Or is it like a gypsy playing like, the, I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> I gotta go see Susan. Oh my God, Susan is going to be at 2.32, so 2.32 for Susan. Um, yes, 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 Matthias came on down to give me a hug and uh, give me a kiss. That's what he did. He's such a sweetie pie. He's such an angel. Um, all right, so let's go and see over here what I've got. What the heck is he thinking? What is he, You're wondering if he's with somebody else too, right? You asked me if he was with somebody else into the chat. Let me go and see. What the heck is he doing? What is this man doing? Oh, poof. All right. It's a full juggling. I don't see no balls. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get myself a 
myself in trouble, but I don't see no balls. <laughs> if I see no balls, I see no juggling. <laughs> He's tugging at something, all right, but I <laughs> Maria, I'm sending you so much love, sweetie. You're the fool for putting him here. Yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and should you go to Atlanta? Okay, let me go and see. Is he with somebody else at this moment? I'm going to say no. Uh, I guess so. I guess that's what she shouldn't say. We should do a whole different deck upon what she shouldn't say. Tugging upon balls. <laughs> or juggling. Juggling. Not tugging. Juggling. That's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I didn't, I, you're talking about juggling. And that's all I'm talking about. Juggling and you're a juggler. That's it. You can see or think what you want, but I said what I said. Yeah. <laughs> With her. You should not go. He doesn't deserve you to go. No, sweetie. No. He's going to play around. He's going to be nasty. He's not going to give you what you want. And you're going to wonder why the hell you want. No, don't go. Don't go. Watson, honestly, I believe there is something to be learned from this. Don't put new emoticons. Don't do not do it. Just don't. Unless you're ready for the repercussions of the interpretations of your emoticons, don't put them. <laughs> I've got an abstract mind. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. And I will say it again eventually. <laughs> I'll probably say it in like two minutes. Yes, I probably will. <laughs> God. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Let me go into your email, my love. Yeah, I'll probably say it again just because I don't learn my lessons. So, um, Andrew, again, love. Andrew loves you. He loves you. He does, he does, he does. And he's not going anywhere. He loves you. Um, the secrets that he is keeping towards, well, away from you is the fact that he spends a lot of money on a lot of people. And that basically, he is not giving anything towards you. He's not giving you not even 20%. Um, he gives you 5% of what he should. 5% of what he should at all times. Within love, within desire, within affection, within respect, within money, within anything. You deserve so much more. But there has been such a shift that has happened since you gave birth to Angel, everything kind of changed. He went from your sh knight and shining armor to somebody that you no longer recognize, somebody who is completely different, somebody who no longer offers you the moon and the stars and uh, Venus and Jupiter and all the beautiful constellations that you can think about. He has changed. He has gone from black to white. There's no gray zones. It's one or the other. He's sticking into his own. You're sticking into yours. You want respect. You want love. And he wants to continue with his life. He doesn't want to lose you because he does love you. He wants everything without giving you anything. That's where the main problem is happening. Andrew's ex-wife going to him saying that car is broke. Can I tell you what is wrong with her car? Um, I don't know what it's called. It could be an exhaust. I don't know what the heck it is. I'm not good in cars, sweetie. I'm seeing some type of a pipe underneath the car. It's long. It's like in stainless steel or metal. I don't know what the heck it is. I kind of feel like it's somewhat related to like a muffler because I'm seeing like a little of a, 
it's like a half of an S and then it's got like a long pole that goes along with it. I don't know how to call it, but that's where the problem is. No, because he's going to say that you are creating problems and that it's not true and he's not going to validate where the problem is. So that's just going to get you in different, different type of problems, sweetie. Did he meet up with a woman in Memphis? I'm going to say no. Or Ohio. Neither my sweet love. I don't feel like he has. Ohio. Neither. It is a no. California. I feel as though he has met somebody up in California, though. But I don't believe anything sexual or anything has happened in just that kind of way. That's it, right? I feel like often he doesn't want to be on the phone with you. Not because he's doing sexual things elsewhere, sweetie. Not because he's doing a bunch of things he's not supposed to do. Well, basically, yes. But he's not doing anything physical. He's not doing anything that would be... Um, he does things financially, but he doesn't always do things that are emotional or physical or sexual. And he often feels as though you have some doubts. He often feels as though you're going to be asking him for something. And that's why he keeps the conversation short. Because he figures if he just kind of tells you, oh, I'm doing good, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, how are you doing? Okay, da, 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 da. And that's if he even asks you how you're doing. Um, and then he kind of cuts it on short. So that's what he does so he doesn't get himself into trouble. Um, there is nothing that I can give you to really let him know that he needs to get it together. You need to let him know that he needs to get it together because you're not going to put up with this. Because he's not helping you. He's not there. He's not doing anything. So ultimately, he really needs to know either he's going to be with you at 100% and he's going to help with Angel, with raising Angel, with helping you financially, everything as such. Because it's not just about money. It's about raising. It's about taking care. It's about helping. It's about assisting. This is his baby as much as it is yours. But he's not taking care of this beautiful little angel soul. So he needs to take his responsibilities into his own hands. He needs to start helping and working towards you into something. Otherwise, you're going to have to go towards the courts and you're going to end up making much more money than you actually are making at this moment. And you're not going to have all the darn hardships, sweet love. So, sweetie, he needs to get his act straight and okay and correct because he needs to know you're not going to follow through with this crap. It's not good. This is horribly toxic for you, my love. It is not good in any kind of a way. Nobody should have to live through every single day wondering if their man or if their woman is out seeing somebody else or doing something else with somebody else or dating somebody else or giving money to everybody except for you and your child. That is pure torture, my sweet love. It is. Um... Everyone is going away and you didn't want to be home by yourself, right? Well, go for it if you want to, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, Gigi, I've got you, sweetie pie, but I haven't done yours yet. I'm going to be with you in just a few moments, okay, sweetie? And no, the car is truly broke. The, the car does have some issues. It does need to be worked on. And I'm going to say there's somewhere between 500 and I'm going to say $900 of repair towards it, sweetie. Yeah. Um, Bright Eyes, are you with us, sweetie? Then we're going to go and see Gigi. Bright Eyes is going to be at 2.41 and 30 seconds. Is Anisha going to be moving in with you soon? If you have any other questions, please do post it also, sweetie. Yes, it is broke, Susan. Between $500 and I'm going to say eight or $900 seems to be the repair cost of it, my love. I feel as though at first it was a little bit unclear. I feel like she was more looking for money, but um, I feel as though it actually did have a problem. I feel as though um, whatever it was that she was trying to get money from him actually kind of switched on up to actually really be a problem. So there is a problem with a car. It is not officially the same problem that she thought that it was, but there is an issue. So I will say yes. Bright Eyes, is Anisha going to be moving in with you soon? My Seven of Swords, followed out by my Ten of Cups, is saying a no. Family trouble, a little bit of some disconnection, unfinished lessons altogether. 
I do see some abundance that seems to be coming on in. I do see somewhat of some connection coming on in also. It is my pleasure, my beautiful Susan, sweetie. Um, I'm going to say at this moment, no, although soon can be a little bit relative. I feel like at this moment, it is not quite the right moment. I feel like we're not ready for it. But there is a very high possibility that within the following four weeks, so within the following month, that it will be a yes, bright eyes. So I'm going to say within the following month, you can have a good 70 to 80% chance that Anisha is going to be moving on in with you. Is that good for you or not? Entirely up to you. I know that you love your beautiful Anisha, sweetie pie, but I know that you guys don't always necessarily see eye to eye onto the same subject. So yeah, bright eyes. Let me know if you have any other questions. That was almost too easy, sweetie pie. If you have anything else, write it and I shall answer you. Um, Susan, can I tell you what are the issues so you can actually tell him? Are the issues, you mean the issues towards what? And the issues within the acts is really just the issues that she wants money. Anybody who is around him wants money. What you need to know with you, my beautiful Susan, is that he needs to know that he has you and he's got a child. He's not taking care of you. He's not taking care of the child. Legally speaking, he is bound to take care of of the child that he is not doing. A hundred dollars a month or three hundred dollars every two weeks is not going to do it. If he is not going to give himself 100% towards you and he's not going to put the efforts towards having a relationship with you, then he's going to have to end up paying the price at some point. But he can't continue going around into a circle and having you live into this toxic situation. She is. She's interfering with you getting a car. I know she is. Bright eyes. You say her landlord told her they need to leave. Okay. So within the following four weeks, she's going to be with you, sweetie pie. Yeah. Definitely. Is that good for you? I know you love her. I know it's not always an easy situation, but I know you love her, sweetie. Um, I'm going to go and see our um, dear friend Gigi, but bright eyes, if you do have any other questions, just post it, love, and I will answer you, as I said, okay? Gigi, what things does, G, does JLB not like about you? Nice question. Different. All right. We're going to go and see Quanson, unless bright eyes has any other questions after. What is it that we don't like about you? Samantha's birthday is on to the 16th. Is that the same time as Sean's? Samantha and Sean have the same birthday? Oh, that is very interesting. Okay, so Gigi, Gigi, Gigi's at 2.45 and 45 seconds. What does JLB not like about you? The fact that you feel as though you can do a lot of things by yourself. You don't necessarily need this person. The fact that you make progress into your life, but they don't always necessarily make progress. The fact that sometimes you want to stay a little bit into your comfort zone, and they kind of want you to get out of your comfort zone. The fact also that at some point in time, you've got achievements that they simply don't have into their mind. And I'm going to have to say that sometimes there are some fears of confrontation. So I'm going to say a little bit of your courage, of your strength, of the conversation, of the communication. We feel as though we don't always necessarily like the way that the communication actually goes on through. Yeah, who's got twins? What is that? Will Anisha get the second job at Target and will she finally get financially stable? What's the twins about? Where's the twins? What did I miss about the twins? Oh, birthday twins. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> I'm like, who's having twins? Ah, I need to know. Oh, GG, sweetie. If you have any other questions, let me know, my sweet love. Um, yes, bright eyes. Is Anisha going to get the second job? Let me go and see if we're going to be getting that, my love. And will she finally get financially stable? Well, look at that. That is very interesting. I do like that. Okay, so let's go and see. What do we 
what do we have? All right, so I'm getting over here for you. Um, mm -hmm. Are we going to be getting it? I'm going to say yes. I feel like we are going to be getting the second job. So I'm going to say second job at a Target. I do feel as it a yes. Are we moving towards, are we going to have the complete stability? No, but are we moving towards stability? Yes. So I'm going to say we don't have complete stability, but we're moving towards it. It's beautiful progress. It's completely accepted. I will take it. Stamp of approval, sweet love. And that confirms it, right? I know, love. I'm going to say it is all about learning. It's a learning kind of a thing, especially when you're into that age. It's all about learning. It is, honestly. We learn into the harshest kind of ways sometimes, right? Um, no way. What is that? I've got two different messages from you, Hanson. What is it? You sent me pictures. You got this into your house, sweet love? What is that? You've got lemon trees. What is this? Is this lemon trees? Oranges? What are they? Oh, God, sweetie, I need to live where you're living. I'm definitely not living into the best part of town, sweetie. Oh, this is nice. Look at all that greenery. Oh, look at those flowers. Look at the warmth. Look at the the life. Oh, my God, Hanson. Oh, that's your dad. <laughs> not your dad you're watering, but I'm seeing the subject. Okay. Okay, you're watering your mom's garden and dad's trees. Oh, my God. They definitely have a green thumb. Oh, I love it. Oh, they're so adorable. Okay, so I'm going to say towards you, sweetie pie, what you have sent to me earlier. Um, I did actually receive at 742. What I just received not long ago were those pictures. <laughs> I don't. That's it. Lemon and oranges. I don't want to blame Google for things that they're not responsible for. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and you do make mistakes sometimes. I know, sweetie. I know. Um, I get that. That is so very interesting, my beautiful Diane. That is beautiful, love. I love that. It is. Bright eyes, I am sending you so much love. If you have any other questions, I am here for you. And Watson, I'm loving those lemon and orange trees. When I was in Italy, I actually went to a lemon farm and I stole a lemon just because I needed to taste a lemon off of a fresh farm. I did. I had to go over like some type of a brick wall to go and get it. I kid you not. Oh my God. I was so hurrying on up before another car passed on by. Um, we did end up kind of trying this lemon and it was really, really quite good. So there you go. I stole a lemon when I was in Italy. Not when I was living there. When I visited years later. <laughs> and he's a wizard. He is. He's so good at it. Oh my God. I love it. All right, so here we go. Watson, I'm going to say you're not a giver tonight. You're not a giver, sweetie. Nothing is happening over here for you, but I love you. Maybe tomorrow will be a different day. Um, let me do this like that. Um, okay, let me do this. Let me do that. And let me go see Watson. Okay. So I had an exhausting day, but I did have a good day. I know, right? Are you going to be able to go back to work next week? Is next week going to be a return? Because your sweetie pie's missing you. You know she's missing you. I'm just saying that. I'm not pushing you to get better. I'm not pushing you anything whatsoever. But you know she's missing you. That's all I have to say. But less than last week, which is good. That is absolutely amazing. Do you have to do any physiotherapy? Is there anything that you can possibly do to try to get rid of that numbness, to try to get things to kind of get moving a little bit more, sweetie? But the air was nice and cool. Let me go into your reading. Is there any physiotherapy you can do? Is there anything that you're doing towards that? I'm just wondering. 
like, is there anything that you can do that you can find off of YouTube or just a physiotherapist altogether that's going to be able to give you some ideas upon different kind of exercises that you can do so it becomes less painful, so it becomes more flexible in some kind of a way? I'm not going to get into that. I'm not getting into the usual stretching. I almost went into a place that I should not go into, but I thought that I would be completely serious for this first part, anyways, of your reading. <laughs> so that's my story. I thought that I would be somewhat serious for the first part. It's what I'm trying to do, anyways. But you're just kind of ruining this for me. Um... Why does it make you hot? You mean you love being cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. There you go. Why does it make me so hot? We're all into the same kind. What the heck? I know. Gypsy's not here. So I'm going to use the eclipse again. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm using it against you guys. That's what I'm doing. It's you guys and your hot and your stretches and your you know what. I said nothing. I'm just being completely compassionate. I know. I was going to. I was going to talk about different type of muscle stretchings, but I'm not going to do it because I'm no physiotherapist. <laughs> I can be a different type of therapist, but I'm no physiotherapist. So, um, that being said, I'm turning the page upon the whole therapy and the stretching. Um, let's move on forward to what do you need to know? You need to know over here that she is happy, that she is doing good. You need to know that she is tired, though. I know. I'm telling you she's doing good. I'm telling you that she's happy, but I'm also telling you that she is exhausted. Yes, I feel as though she is into a place where she is seriously worried about you. You need to show your sweet face at work. You need to let people know, oh my God, what is happening? I'm missing you. I'm thinking about you. You know, what? you need to let her know something, something. Hi, how are you doing? I'm just coming to say hi because I miss everybody at work. I pulled a muscle into my leg, whatever. I feel like she needs to know. If you're not going to go to work next week, you need to show some kind of type of survival because she's missing you and she's wondering what the heck you're doing. She feels as though you've a little bit kind of disconnected over here. So manifest, 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 manifest. Show all your love, show your curiosity, go on forward with it and just move on forward within all that love, all that desire and everything as such, okay? You gotta send her all that love, sweetie pie. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm gonna say. Um, What does she wanna say towards you? What does she want to say towards you? She wants you to know over here the moon. She is hiding her feelings towards you. She feels a little bit sad, but at the same time when she thinks about you, she knows that she feels the love that you feel towards her into her soul. She is looking for you to make some type of movement over here, some type of with our hanged man in different position. We want to have movement. We want to have love. We want to see you. We want to be with you. We want to feel you close to us. We want different things to be happening and we want to hold you and never really completely let go of you. Yeah, um, I have not seen any foxes, but let me go and see. Let's go see the Lenormand and see if there's any foxes um, appearing into the Lenormand, my love. Let's go see Lenormand. What does Lenormand have to give on it? Lenormand, Lenormand, here we go. I know, right? I know. You gotta love her. Lenormand is stating that there are no foxes around, that she is thinking, she is wondering, she is wanting to be with you. And I'm not going to talk about the whip. <laughs> It's about wanting changes, okay? It's not about what you're thinking. So, yes, there's no foxes around, sweetie pie. There's no foxes, love. Um, should we do the eight ball book? Eight ball? That's how I'm going to call it now, the eight ball book. It's much more respectful toward the book. Eight ball book. <laughs> oh, let's go and see. All righty. So, um, here we go. And let's go and see what we've got. 
You might just do some spells, since you might as well. You might as well, my sweet love. You're around it. Go ahead. Take those spices. Take those things and make things happen. Put that love into a bottle, sweetie. Yes. Yeah, are you ready for the eight ball? Oh. <laughs> it cannot fail. I sound like the Lord of the Rings. Right, let me do it better. It cannot fail. How was that? <laughs> okay, it can't fail. There you go. Uh, let me go into my ordinary voice. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to go with a real book now. You let me know whenever you're ready for the serious one. Because the other one is nonsense. It's just pure nonsense. I can't wait for my fireplace behind to unfreeze its soul. Oh my god. Yeah. Alrighty. I know. I'm ready. I was trying to do like a Gandalf, but I guess I suck at it. <laughs> I shall never... No, I'm not going to say I'm never going to do it again. I'll probably do another stupidity like that into the future, but... I'll try not to do it too often. I'll try. Um, okay, what's this one's going to say? Ooh, are you afraid? The lovers. The answer is yes if it includes your lover. But please compromise. Otherwise, don't do it. Sweetie, if you're not going to compromise, just say no. Which makes no sense because anybody who knows Hwanson knows that Hwanson is able and willing to do compromise. If the compromise is nice and just, and it is for his beautiful, loving queen, he will do any compromises on earth. So I'm going to say don't worry about it. Let me give you an angel message because I didn't give you one. And then uh, poo, 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 we're going to move on forward to go and give you some loving messages. All right. It is entirely up to you. Or you could switch the eight ball book with the other one. Oh, you're right. Yeah. The problem is, yeah, you've got a really, really good memory. The one that my kids have is in French. Is it in French? I don't know. Ah, je crois bien sûr que oui, mais je suis pas tout à fait certaine. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out because my kids don't use it. It's just collecting dust, honestly. Um, if it's in English, I will bring it. If it's in French, I'll keep it. Yeah. Okay. Good idea, Juanson. Thank you for the brainstorm, sweetie. Um, I'll try not to forget about them. That's a completely different thing. If I remember about it, <laughs> you might have to remind me. Uh, 2112. Somebody is watching over you, sweetie. Good fortune. This is about unforeseen forces. It's about direction. Even if it seems like you are not making any meaningful progress, things are moving into the right direction. This is about 2112. Everything is going to work on out into your favor, into your most beautiful dreams, because they are going to be coming on true towards you, sweet love. Yay! What's an eight ball? You never heard of that. It's an eight ball. Oh, my God. An eight ball. It's a horrible thing, sweet love. It's a ball that kind of looks a little bit like a crystal ball, but it's got a little triangle with water into it. <laughs> and when you shake it on up and you ask a question and you look at it, it gives you an answer. And the answers are like, yes, no, maybe, absolutely not. They're the most stupidest answers. It's a great fluke, sweetie pie. That's what it is. I think it's in... I don't know, Watson. I think it's in French, but I have no idea. I... Je parle à travers mon chapeau. I'm going to go and check it on out. I don't know why I would even buy a book that is in French. It would make no sense. Mm, because... Not that I don't speak French. <laughs> because that just seems like I'm a farce. But no, it would make no sense for the actual channel. So it must be in English. Yeah, I'm going to go and research. I'm going to go see where the heck my kids put that book. If they don't use it, I might as well use it. Um, yeah, let me send you some messages. Am I talking about the eight ball that you play? No, sweetie pie. It kind of looks like it. <laughs> it kind of 
what it looks like it, but this one is supposed to be kind of mystical and magical. And when you shake it, it gives you an answer, but it gives you the stupidest answers. So there you go. <laughs> Don't trust no eight ball. Oh my God. If you're going to use an eight ball, use it because you're drunk and you want to have a laugh. Don't use it because you want a serious answer. <laughs> well, that's all I got to say about it. Let me give you some messages, my love. Um, yeah, it's true. It is true. If anybody wants to defy me upon it, please go ahead with it. But it is what it is. I'm going to say the eight ball is a game. <laughs> it, is, it is not serious in any kind of a way. Okay, so um, I'm not moving towards message cards. It is not an error. I'm just going towards tarot because... I prefer tarot than message cards. So here we go. What seems so sweet? Um, we are thinking about fantasies with the you. We want to escape with you. We want to walk away. We want to evolve. We want to have maturity. We are thinking about our future. We are thinking about changes. We are thinking about cycles. We are thinking about juggling with different type of options. And oh my God, do we want to have that beautiful celebration with you? Do we want to have those collaborations with you? Do we want marriage spiritual connection with you it's a yes it kind of does right sean it kind of does <laughs> oh i know hansen but it is what it is honestly though sean you're not wrong it looks like a ball that comes from a pool table it's black <laughs> it's got water into it and you shake it oh it's the craziest thing but it's fun it's fun hey <laughs> It's all good, but please don't base no life decisions upon it. That being said, my sweet loves, I'm going to say sweet dreams to everybody over here. I will try to send you guys, anybody who is concerned, any messages if I do have some time because, like I said, I had a chaotic day and I have a lot of things to do. And I have to redo some readings because Prince pulled the plug onto my blue ball when I was doing private readings. And so there's no sound and I have to redo them. So I'm going to go and do that at this moment. So love you guys. Oh, I know, right? And I shall see you guys a little bit later. Well, that being said, tomorrow. And if I have time for an update, you'll receive an email from me later. Mwah! Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams.